Okay, right guys, welcome to the stream. Hopefully everyone is doing great over there, having a great day over there, guys. We're going to be doing some Modern Warfare 3. It's going to be quite cool. We're going to be doing the new, trying out the new season that dropped out, uh, I think a couple days ago. So that's going to be really fun. Definitely going to be excited for that. Just going to quickly set up and stuff, but we should be all good, guys. But uh, yeah, okay, right, so we got that all set up. But yeah, hopefully everyone's doing good over there. Just going to quickly go on to, there we go. I do hope we can actually get the chat going up and stuff. Because uh, for some reason, I don't know if you guys are having the same issue. But there seems to be a slight issue whenever the, uh, like, whenever I go into a live, the chat just doesn't show for some reason. And um, it's, it's been happening for quite a little bit. So hopefully it doesn't happen again. It should be all good, though. It should be all good. If it does happen, then we'll be able to fix something with that issue. Um, okay, right. Let me just quickly go into edit. I think it is it view. And then, uh, okay, no, it's not that. Is it show remix docs? View full screen scene. All right, okay. What well, we're just going to do a quick while we're in, actually. We're just going to quickly just get the chat up. Uh, on this side. But yeah, glad to see everyone coming out. I don't know if anyone is in the stream at the moment because I just can't see for some reason the um, the chat. I don't know why I can't see the chat. Uh, but I just need to quickly load it in. Um, yeah, I don't know why it does this. So we're just going to have to just quickly just wait a little bit. Just just wait for this chat just to show up and stuff. But I hope everyone's doing good over there. Um, yeah, again, I, I, I just can't say the messages. But yeah, we're going to be doing some Modern Warfare 3. It's going to be really enjoyable. We're going to be trying out the new season, which uh, did drop, I think, about a week ago. But yeah, no, I mean, yeah, no, it's kind of recent, I guess, for us. It's kind of recent, um, which is going to be kind of cool. Uh, let me just quickly wait for this chat thing to show up. Come on, come on, come on. Try and show up, try and show up. I don't know why it does this at times. It really does get a little bit annoying. Let me just quickly go back onto a live. Let me just quickly show up the chat. Keeps doing this, keeps doing this. But yeah, um, let me just quickly just wait real quick to see if this thing's showing. Okay, no, it's still not showing. Um, my bad, guys. Apologies for this. Uh, but yeah, I guess just to wait, let for time to pass up and stuff. We are going to be doing some Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. If anyone does want to join in, you guys are more than welcome to. More than happy for you guys to join in. Uh, you know, try and grind the guns together as well, which would be really cool. They've brought in some. I guess, interesting guns. I I'll be able to show in just a second. They brought in some pretty interesting guns. And, um, yeah, I would love to show them off. They're in the One of them are in the thumbnail, which is actually kind of cool. Okay, let me just wait real quick. Let me just see for this thing to just wait. Um, hopefully, I can see the chat. Let me just do multi-chat. Okay, let me just disable that. Let me go onto there. Let me go onto file. Um, edit, copy, uh, order. Um, tools, we're going to do that. Scene collection, docs, lock, uh, reset, customizable bread, I don't see, source, stats, control, chat. Right, there we go. Hopefully, that does show. There we go. Right, okay, I can actually see it, guys. We've got Fish OPG JD, though, coming to the stream saying, Hi, I just left school early. A hey, nice one. Hopefully, you know, it wasn't uh, with disobeying any, uh, you know, like rules they got over at school. But a hey, happy to see you come to the stream, Fish show. Hope you're having a good day over the man for the sounds of it, though. You know, you're having a good one, man. You're, you're leaving school early. You don't have to go to school. Or you don't have to do the full time of school, man. Pleasure to see you coming out. I think it's going to be pretty cool for you, bro. We're going to be doing some Modern Warfare 3. Let's load it up right now. And let's do a bit of MW3. Just to, you know, just to freshen it up. Or just to start it off, you know. Really going to be enjoying this. Um, do we really need to bring anything? Uh, let's have a quick look before we do anything. But yeah, hopefully having a great Friday over there, man. It's Friday as well, you know. I guess having a day off on Friday or, I guess, you know, um, leaving school early on Friday isn't too bad. You know what I mean? So that's not too bad, right? It doesn't sound too bad right there. Just going to quickly get this. But yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. They brought in Season 3, guys. And, um, you know, with Season 3, it's not all that crazy. But to be honest... I would have never expected it. They brought in um, a Modern Warfare 3 sniper, which is kind of insane. Let me show you through here, though, what they brought in. So, they actually brought in a an advanced warfare gun. I don't know if you guys have seen this gun before, but it literally is... This is based off the, the Morse uh, advanced warfare sniper. And it's actually pretty cool, to be honest. It looks a little bit different, though. I will say, but it, I, I don't know. I don't know what people are feeling about it, but it actually looks kind of cool, to be honest. It literally is a mod, advanced warfare sniper. 
which is pretty cool. Hey, we even got Lieutenant Knuckles dropping into the stream saying, gentlemen, hey, welcome to the stream as well, Lieutenant Knuckles. Pleasure to see you coming to the stream, bro. Hell yeah, you came into a good one, man. We're playing some Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. What can't go better? What can't be worse? I don't know what which one is which, but what can be better than playing a bit of card MW3 Zombies, you know? We're trying out the new season as well. Let's, let's load into a bit of a chill game, you know, start things off. But um, hopefully, you're having a fine, fine Friday over there. My man Knuckles, pleasure to see you coming by. We even got Angel Goku, the mortal, the mortal angel coming in. Interesting name. I like it, man. He says, sub boys. Hey, what is up, Angel Goku? Glad to see you coming to the stream, bro. Hopefully, your Friday's going great over there. Some Modern Warfare 3, man. It's going to be quite cool. We're going to be, you know, just doing the norm, I'd say, guys. You know, grinding up for schematics, trying to go for, you know, find rare items, things like that. It'd be really cool if we could try and defeat any bosses. I think the last time we done something like that was, um, I don't know what it was. We, yeah, that's it. We defeated one of the worm bosses, which was actually really fun. Had a great time on that. Uh, so I don't know if we can ever do that or not. But yeah, hopefully you guys are doing great over there. Um, Angel though says, uh, yeah, it's VXN. Oh, there we go, VXN. It, I, I knew it was, um, I knew it was some, somewhere of that name, because I've seen that name before, obviously. I know you had a bunch of different names, I think, it, uh, some of the multiverse and stuff, you know. But he says, yeah, it's VXN. No school means I get a break. Yeah, man, I, to be honest, right, I'd say school, I don't know. Sometimes you just got to have a break from school, man. You know, especially when you got to wake up way early. Yeah, I guess there is a benefit for school, you know. You get into that routine of waking up early and stuff. Like, it generally is good to wake up early, man. Um, I would prefer to wake up early any time of the day than wake up late, genuinely. But, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, you, you, I, I'd say it's just nice to just have a day to yourself where you could just chill out and stuff. Not have, not have anything bothering you. Oh, okay, right. That was a nice sip right there. Good old sip of a coffee, Rui. Uh, Knuckles though says, Never mind a Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, to be honest, but um, I got to play it on PC at launch, uh, at launch day, and it was a mess. Yeah, see, th this is the weird thing of Modern Warfare 3, man. Like, it kind of goes up and down, in my opinion, anyway, with Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Like, I don't know. One week or one month, they'll be doing great, you know? And then they'll just drop. Like, uh, for example, they, I don't know what they brought out, but they brought up this big update, right? And it, that was it. It was to defeat a bunch of bosses, you know, and you could unlock a bunch of cool things with it. And then for about, I'm going to say about a month, Knuckles, the game just stopped being updated. Probably about two months. The game stopped being updated and it became very boring in my opinion. No, I only play this game whenever I stream it, so I can't put out... You know, 10 out of 10 uh, proof of every bit about this game. But that's what it feels like. This game is up and down. The launch of this game, when the beta of Modern Warfare 3, when they just brought out the multiplayer, apparently, anyway, a lot of people say it was one of the best betas. But I guess when the game dropped, there was a lot of issues with it. And then one of the main things as well, Knuckles, is this game does have and still have a lot of issues with it, with um, server issues. A lot of people do get kicked out from this game, which is one of the big issues. Luckily, doesn't happen so much on PC, but for the console, dude, bet you will be kicked out for no reason. I don't get it, you know? Hey, we even got a once though drop into a once though drop into the stream says Pog. Hey, welcome to the stream of once. He says, How are you, OG? Hey, it's been a good day for sure, Wance. It's been a good day for sure, man. Just chilling, starting the day off with some MW3 zombies. What can be better? You know, having a fun stream, talking to the talking to the legends. You know, yeah, it's good, man. It's good. Hopefully you're having a great Friday over there as well, Wance. One day away from the weekend, or I should say probably it is the weekend, you know? Hopefully your weekend is going bless over there, man. We've even got Timmy though dropping into the stream saying, yo, um, what's been going on, AG? Yeah, it's been good. It's been going pretty good, I'd say, Timmy. It's been going pretty good, man. Not really much, to be fair. Um, yeah, just been chilling, to be honest. I don't know what really could be new. In fact, I guess to give you some information, Timmy, we did do a stream on the no gums and no AATs, and I'm telling you, bro, that was a difficult challenge. That was not easy, dude. Fair play to you and Adam for getting up to 40 to 57. Fair play, man, you know? But happy to see Timmy, though, coming in. Hopefully, Timmy is having a wonderful day over there, man. Glad to see you coming in. We've got EJ YouTube card dropping into the chat saying, yo, bro, shout out to everyone in the chat. Please leave a like on the video. Facts right there from EJ. If you guys, honestly, get a, get a starter, 
uh, start a goal. Now let's try and get it up to 10 likes if we can. 10 likes, if not 5 likes, that'll be a W right there. But now that's only if you, uh, everyone's enjoying it. We're just starting off. The party's just started, you know. I'm gonna try and get into this, uh, get this thing up and running. But um, how is EJ YouTube card doing as well? Hopefully the legend is doing wonderful over there as well. YouTube recommended. Uh, YouTube recommended coming in clutch. Hell yeah, man. Honestly, hopefully you know, yeah, just everyone, you know, even if people are getting recommended, um, going on the browser option. You know, things like that, hopefully, you know, hopefully things are going pretty well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. It's pretty weird that some, sometimes when people do say, oh, I've seen you on the recommended. You just want, I don't know, you just really want to think, like, think that would happen. I don't know. It's sometimes weird at times, you know. Um, Amanda says, I've been doing great. That's good, man. I'm glad T Day's going good, bro. That's a good start off right there. You know, you're doing good for the day. You know, Friday's looking for a shine for you. Things are looking good this Friday, bro. That's a W right there to wear. But yeah, let's, do the, um, let's just quickly just do this real quick. Oh, shit. Okay, right. We've got Timmy, though, says, yeah, I've been chilling, man. Black Ops 3 has been hacked on PlayStation. You know what? Yeah, Timmy, um, Evan, tell me about that, about PlayStation being hacked. Um, apparently, if you were to do, obviously, games, you know, like uh, games online with other people, you could potentially become hacked, you know, have your IP taken, um, have your information taken, you know, like not just IP, but you know, your password, your email address, even worst case scenario, have your account taken on its own, it's bad, you know, I would recommend to me, I, just to anyone if you guys do with PlayStation, the safest thing I would probably say is don't play online as much, as, at the same time, probably use a VPN if you have one, if you have a VPN, that's probably going to be the best thing, um, you know, it just gives that extra bit of security. At the moment, I'm using NordVPN. NordVPN does pretty well. Uh, I think they charge like uh, 18... I think I have to charge £18 a month for NordVPN, which is not too bad. Damn, that sucks. That does suck, man. It's quite surprising as well how Modern Warfare 3... No, my bad. It's kind of surprising as well how... <laughs> Sony would, you know, have this issue and stuff. I mean, they normally do have issues like this. Like, I don't know. Th there's always... There is an issue all the time with, you know, things like this, because they're probably such a big company, but um, I think they'll be able to fix it quite rapidly in, in a good amount of time. That's what I'm trying to say. It definitely won't be going on for too long. They're a massive company, massive company. They should be able to fix it in uh, probably less than a day, probably, you know, because uh, of, you know, how much good um, resources they've got in order to fix it, how many, how many people they've got to help, you know. EJ YouTube says that I'm good. Nice one, EJ. That's good to wear, man. That's a W right there to wear, bro. I'm glad to hear day's going good, man. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, the new Modern Warfare 3 season, but yeah, it's not looking too bad, to be fair. The season, it, it looks quite interesting. I think people are saying this season is probably one of the best seasons that have dropped out. Um, they, how can I say? They, um, they put it next to another season in mw2 and apparently that season was not as good like they uh, how can i say they parted two next to each other and apparently season three on modern warfare 2 compared to this season on modern warfare 3 apparently this season gives out so many more things to grind so we're gonna be trying to grind for them guys um we would love to try and get that um that morse sniper that would be awesome you know um if you do online it Timmy though says, I know Activision trying to make PS users play their new cards. Yeah, see, I mean, like, I don't know. I, I, I guess all games are trying to do that and stuff, you know, that, like, you know, you look at Rockstar, um, Epic, you know, they're all trying to get people. It would be nice, though, I'd say, Timmy, if they were to, you say, Activision or any kind of company were to give a warning out to the players, like, no, if you play online right now, you might have a risk of someone potentially, you know, messing with your account because there's uh you know a, a thing going on for playstation if you play online you could risk having your account screwed with um bro uh bro who was a recommended uh oh who was a recommended like recommendation on youtube from what it seems though we're just getting the uh you know you know we got the ogs in the channel now we got the ogs so i don't think only recommended for now you know but we want to keep it like this you know what i mean just chill nah i don't really mind <laughs> yeah no nah, i'd don't think any recommended i'd say um you know but every once in a while you know you do get a recommended here and there uh you know to a new person coming in 
And um, sometimes, you know, then people will be the carry-on, you know? Um, hey, I want you on the emoji. Hell yeah, man. We got the stone emoji. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad. Well, from what it seems, people are liking them. I don't know why. For some reason, some people think that emoji looks like two um two balls. I don't know if that does. From what it seems on on I guess on the chat on the screen, it does. does it just seems like two eyes. It just seems like two very tired eyes. You know. <laughs> oh, it says cheers. Hey, I got you, bro. I got you, bro. <laughs> no problem, man. Um, if you do online in general, yeah, I told my post that I'll do offline. Okay, that's good. That honestly, to me, it'd just be for the better. Be, be for the safest option, man. Um, like generally, wouldn't want anyone's account like having that issue. Like, I don't know. Sadly, you do get, uh, I guess, people like that. But, you know, the main mission is just to try and screw people's accounts. I don't know why. You know, it's a little bit weird, but yeah, you do get people like that, man. I guess it is what it is. Okay, I thought this was a um, a deliver cargo contract, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We can hopefully... You know what? Nah, we're going to think smart here. We're going to think smart, guys. I thought that was going to be a deliver cargo contract. I don't really think we need that one. Let's go over here and let's go over um, raid weapon stash. So that's eliminate bounty. Yes, we probably want to get that. And yeah, that'll be around here. Okay. But yeah, we'll see if we can try and, um, what is it, unlock the new Morse sniper. That'd be awesome, guys. That'd be awesome. Well, thanks for checking um, uh, checking our challenge. Dude, honestly, no, thank you, man. Honestly, it was a really cool challenge to me. Um, kind of got on some other ideas of what kind of challenges there are out there to try out. You know, imagine doing, like, a no-gums Easter egg on Origins. Like, do you know how cool that would be? Or a no, I don't know, no perks... Origins Easter egg. Okay, not Origins, but you know what I mean. Like, bringing out some cool ideas right there from um, from Timmy and Adam, man. I still stand as the highest rounder. Dude, I'm telling you, bro, 57, man. It's kind of weird. When we was trying to do it, Timmy, we were like, I think we did a first try. In fact, I'll, 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 I'll say this. I, I think you guys used no Crook Revive. So, sadly, we did use Crook Revive. Luckily, we didn't go down until, I think, round... 40, I think around 40 or 41. But yeah, and then 45 came in. Bam. Out of nowhere. Just got screwed, dude. Like, it was it was challenging, bro. It was really, really challenging. Fair play for 57, man. Honestly. It takes quite a bit of time as well, you know? I, I'm not going to lie, though. The, the trap strat on the giant, I didn't think it was actually going to be that good. I thought the trap strategy was going to be... I, I, I don't know. Like, I would have visioned the zombies just to start already despawning if you come away from them from, like, a centimeter, you know? But uh, luckily, no, they, they, like, it actually went down quite well. You build a pod in the KN57 room, and then you go over to the trap. They all go into the trap, and you just keep building them up. And it was actually really cool. I think that strategy, you could definitely do 100 on. I don't know how long it would take, though. It would probably be the same time as, like, a BO1 high round or something like that. But, hey, I mean, that's definitely worth it, you know? Um, oh, I guess, have you guys have you guys seen or heard about any of the leaks for Cold War recently? I know if some people, they're not... Oh, I know if some people, they're not really a big fan of the new cards coming out. But if you guys have heard about it, um, you know, read a, seen a couple of videos with people talking about the leaks that they're bringing out for Cold War... These, these are mainly theories, stuff like that, but um, they do sound quite interesting, to be fair. Like, apparently, they're going to be bringing out two maps on launch, apparently, anyway. Um, one of the maps might be on an island, which is, I'm not going to ask, going to be pretty cool, man. Map, one of the maps is just going to be sitting on an island and stuff. Um, let me think as well. Yeah, obviously, wonder weapons and stuff. Oh, what do we have? A schematic for... That's Crook Revive. I think we already have Crook Revive. If we don't, though, that's kind of a blessing right there, man. Let's um, let's do some more contracts. I would love to join a team. I would love to join a team, dude. I'm not really a good solo player on this. I, I tend to die quite a bit. So let's see. Can we can we, can we we join this guy? All right. No, I don't, I don't think he wants to join. Hey, right in those says Gulf War. Yeah, dude. Gulf War. I... I... <sighs> If I'm correct as well, Brain, I think Gulf War should be dropping. I don't know if they said November, October. November, October, or... S 
I don't know. It No, I think it's October. I think it's October they're going to be dropping it out, Braden. But yeah, they got some cool leaks. Obviously, videos from, I think it was Mr. Dalek JD. Uh, Black Ops Amazing. He did a video on it. And yeah, just interesting, man, you know? Cold War? Nah, nah, said to me. It's Gulf War, bro. I heard Cold War is rushed. Cold War? Oh, see, with Cold War, I didn't play it when it first came out. But, I mean, from just... Even looking at the game, like, later on, you can see kind of, like, how... What went on, you know? You look at the first map, uh, which was Die Machine, you think, okay, this map's kind of cool. And then you look at other maps later on, like, Outbreak, and you think, well, okay, you could probably see that they started off really good, and then future on, later on, they kind of, like, dipped down... I don't know why. Hopefully that does not happen with Golf War, you know? But hey, glad to see you come to the stream, Braden. Hopefully Braden's doing good over there. You're at work today, man. Hopefully you're having a good day over there, man. October. You said Cold War. Oh, is it? Oh, my bad. I've been saying Cold War. My bad on that. Get, getting all the names mixed up. I mean, I guess you could say it's like a close to Cold War, but hopefully, hopefully it's not close to Cold War, you know? Hey, we even got Strain, though, dropping into the stream, showing the eye emoji. Hell yeah, Strain. Welcome in, bro. Welcome in. Glad to see you coming to the stream, bro. Really hope we can actually go through this. How strain doing today? Hope you're having a wonderful day over there, man. Dude, the weather's been um been quite vibrant outside in the UK, which is quite nice. Hopefully soon I can get my uh, my driver's license done. I've been doing so many theory tests and failing so many times. It is genuinely annoying. Like I've got to do, I've got to go to one on the 18th. Uh, this month. Hopefully I can get it done. I really hope because I want to get a car so bad. You know, I would love to start driving, man. If I can't, then I, I don't know if a bike would be good. That won't be bad. Oh, God. I thought that was an NPC then. Or a mercenary. Get away from me. Get away from me. I heard Golf War is going to be Cold War 2.0. Not a fan. See, a lot of people are saying that, and I'd say good reason for it. I mean, Gulf War, Gulf, uh, Cold War, Gulf War, you know, they sound quite similar. Um, you know, I... Uh, if, it, if it does become to be, like, a Cold War 2.0, I... Personally, I won't... I won't mind it terribly. Like, I won't think, oh, that's going to be ass, you know... But at the same time, would it match? I would probably even say BO4 would be better in some cases. You know what I mean? Like, they're definitely going to carry on with the Modern Warfare engine. Like, that's what we're just going to have to look at, guys. They're going to carry on with the Modern Warfare engine. It's just the sad truth of it. Even though the Modern Warfare engine isn't bad, it's just... It, I think people are getting quite bored of it. Like, I think that's just the issue of it. It's not bad. It's, you know, in some cases, this is a... I don't know. This is a much more, uh, you know, smoother engine, you know, the way you're playing stuff. But at the same time, it's nice going back to the more simpler engines like, you know, BO3, BO2, uh, Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, they had, you know. I don't know if I'd... Okay, yeah. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Joshy coming in. Welcome to the stream. Josh, the legend drop on in. How we doing today, Josh? Hey, you already know, man. We're playing some Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, bro. We're chilling. We're trying out the new season pass as well. Not season pass. Season 3 that drops, bro. And yeah, we're giving it a try for a stream, man, you know? But hopefully you're having a great day, man. Pleasure to see you coming by in. Hopefully, yeah, Friday is going swift all over there, my dude. Yeah, where's my... Okay, right. So yeah, we've got around 1,100 pounds. Or points, I should say. Why am I saying pounds? Uh, raid weapon stash. It'd be nice to get some cargo... Where's the cargo, dude? Is there no cargo? Is there just no cargo anywhere? Let's just quickly just parachute for the... Oh, wait there. Can I go over here? And can I request to join these guys' teams? Request to join? Let's see. I don't think they want me to join. Okay, that's all cool. Josh, though, says I'm good, bro. You? Yeah, it's been good, I'd say. Josh, it's been good, man. You already know, just been chilling for the day. It's Friday as well, so what could be better? You know, what could be better than having a good old Friday? But yeah, it's been good, man. Glad to see your day's going good as well, Josh. That's good to hear. Um, oh, codename Pizza is going to love and hate Golf War. It's going to be interesting. I know, like, he does a lot of Easter eggs. Like, every stream he puts in a lot of work for his Easter eggs. 
you know? And the thing I respect, man, is he knows every Easter egg out there, you know? I'd love to know. I don't know. We'd love to know all the BO4 Easter eggs, all the BO3 Easter eggs. Hell, even the BO2 Easter eggs and probably Moon as well on the side. I mean, that would be so cool to learn, man. You know, but I guess he's put in a lot of time uh, for them to, to, to learn them Easter eggs and stuff. All right, let's just quickly see. Raid weapon stash. Eliminate bounty. Where's the deliver cargo, dude? Have they taken away the deliver cargo? I think they have. I think they've taken away the deliver cargo, guys. I just can't see it. They actually have taken away the deliver cargo. So I guess that's one thing to... Eliminate. Um... Yeah, I think they've taken it. So if you guys didn't know, there's Deliver Cargo Contract, which is quite good. I don't really want to go there. Raid Weapon Stash. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, no, they haven't taken it away. We just, we're just blind, I guess. Um, oh, Timmy though says about Golf Boy says the Gobble Gums is going to save him. Uh, the armor slash mini map slash score streaks, score streak slash no crew system is going to piss him. <laughs> Dude, it's going to be, I don't know, again, like, if they do end up adding to me, um, score streaks, mini maps, uh, what else? I guess, <coughs> I don't know as well, like, if they add in, I guess, score streaks, mini map, um, oh, um, a system to, I, I don't know, just some things like that, then I, I don't know how to feel about it. I think it will be interesting, but at the same time, I think I, I personally would like to see something more. I don't know. I probably just, I don't know. Um, let's have a quick look, though. Are we sure it's going to have armor, Timmy? If they do have, okay, yeah, that's another thing to know. If they do have armor place, I don't think that's going to be good. Because, I don't know, it's 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 a cool thing that they're adding on, but it just, ah, I don't really know. Personally, I'm not really a big fan of the armor plate system. It, like, lit, if, if you were to, st if you're someone that starts off on Warzone, and then come over here and play this, you know, you'll instantly, it'll literally bring you back just to Warzone and stuff. It really just does do that, you know? Which is a big issue, in my opinion. But I don't know, I mean, I'm really just, I, I generally am excited for it. I'm just hoping it's going to turn out to be good, you know? Hey, Raven says, AG with the clean shrink. <laughs> Hell yeah, Ravens. Do appreciate it, man. We finally got the fresh trim. You yeah, know? I think... How, how much should I pay for this? I think it was like £14. So it wasn't too bad. Went down to the Turkish Barbers, bro. Uh, probably about a month ago, I think. You know? Not too bad, I'd say, man. Not too bad. But glad to see you come to the stream, I'd say, Ravens. Hopefully, Ravens is doing great over there, man. You already know, man. We're playing some Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, Ravens. They, uh, they dropped out the new Season 3, which is kind of cool, bro. So... We're going to try and unlock some cool things for Season 3. Hopefully, the new gun that they've dropped. The, uh, it was an Advanced Warfare Sniper, the Morse. Uh, you know what? I might join, but I'm trying to get some schematics from Tier 2. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you want to do some schematics, bro, more than welcome to uh, for that show. Yeah, if you want to join in and stuff, we can try and go on schematics. We can try and defeat bosses. Anything, dude. Anything. Um, whenever you want to join in as well, just ask and stuff, and it'd be more than welcome to. Um, let's have a look. Uh, not a fan either. Let's have a look. Well, keeping Cold War uh, stuff is a mistake. Yeah, I think armor plates. Um, I, armor plates, probably. I wasn't really a big fan of the pack a punch system. I was and I wasn't personally. I think the pack a punch system was alright, but I don't know if it was just me. There's like a casual player that plays Cold War. I genuinely hated how long it took for you to fully upgrade your gun. Like, I know, like, you know, um, how, how can you say, like, building up on a game is, like, the main part, you know, but just wasn't a big fan of how long it takes to get your gun to fully pack. Like, I just, I just didn't like that person. I thought that was trash. Because um, it was, like, 30,000 points to get your gun to max level. And not even on that as well. It was um, it was a grind on its own to actually get your uh, get your gun to uh, the gold level, you know, tier 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 four, tier three, I think. Yeah, no, tier four, which was kind of annoying. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just go over here real quick. We'll just do this. Um, not a fan. Uh, but yeah, yeah. If you want to join in, stranger, more than welcome to, man. Modern Warfare, Modern Engine. They use every card. After Cold War will be similar. Oh yeah, it's like. 
again, if, if, if it does turn out to be that, it, I don't know. Like, I didn't mind the Arcadia feeling of Cold War. I, I think some of us could agree the Arcadia feeling of Cold War was kind of cool. Like, I couldn't really put my finger... I don't I think it was probably the graphics of the game was kind of cool. I like the graphics. But again, coming back to that Modern Warfare engine, it... <sighs> It wasn't terrible, but it's just overused. It's just overused, really. I mean, what is this? This is now the uh, 2019, 20, 21, 22, 23. This is the fifth card that has the Modern Warfare engine. It's not a bad... It, like, this card isn't a bad card, in my opinion. I do enjoy it, but at the same time, it just, it just feels overused, really. It's basically the same thing, you know? Okay, let's just quickly go around here. Oh, my fucking God. Okay. I'm just going to get out of here real quick and pretend that, I don't know, pretend that that guy did not just spawn trap me right there. I'm getting the freak out of here, guys. What the hell? We even got Evan, though, dropping to the stream, says, What's up, AG? Hey, what's up, Evan? Glad to see you coming to the stream, man. We're on some more Modern Warfare 3 zombies. You already know, dude. We're, we're hitting it up with some MW3. That zombie literally just blocked us, which is kind of rough. Okay, okay, right. That, we could just do that, I guess. But, um, how are you doing today, Evan? How was your day going today, man? Hope you're having a great day over there, bro. Um, Timothy though says, um, Timothy says, I'm excited to see how easy it will be. Um, that's the only reason I'm happy about Golf War and people getting hyped to it to complain when it's out. That does seem to be quite a big issue, like, I've, I guess with every card coming out there, I guess every game has sort of people, like, not liking it, but I mean, I could definitely agree there, like, with COD that has been coming out now, I don't know, it's not really been... Looking so good. Yeah, no, I... I don't know. Like, personally, with this game, I could definitely criticise it, but at the same time, I do play it quite a bit. Like, at the same time with me criticising it, I play it a lot, so... I can't really be like, oh, this game's trash, but I still play it, you know? <laughs> hey, we even got Trick as well coming in, says, well, what's up, homie? Hey, what is up, Trick? Pleasure to see you coming back to the Shuma man. Hell yeah, do run off some Modern Warfare 3 zombies once again. Trying out Season 3, dude, you know? How are you doing today, Trick? How is your day going today, man? Hopefully, Trick is doing less over there, bro. Um, Timothy says, I'm not sure about uh, the tears, though. They are bringing back the OG pack up system where you crack your knuckles. Yeah, seen that as well. Which, again, like, it's all cool. Like, I, I guess, like, little things... The little things they add on do make a, quite a little bit of a change as well. So I guess that might be a good thing. That might be a good thing. But, I mean, it's nothing... I don't know... I think one thing they just need to focus on is just maps. I think that's one thing that they need to really focus on. Because, like, I mean, do you know how cool it would be to play, I don't know, like a map that, I don't know, like, just be able to really get into a map. You know what I mean? Um, that would be that would be the fun part, in my opinion. And how, yeah, facts from Nightbot. If you guys haven't already, feel free to join to the kick side, guys. You know, we're streaming on kick as well. Uh, you know, got a... They're building up a small community over there, which is quite cool. So if you guys are interested, there is the kick link for all you guys to join in. But now it's got a gun to level Pack-A-Punch 2. Pack-A-Punch level 2, which is not too bad. What we're we'll trying to do, actually, is let's go over here. Is there anyone that does want to join in, though? If there is anyone that does want to join in, you guys are more than welcome to. More than happy for people to join in and stuff. Nice one. Okay. Um, hey, we've even got Alex as well, and Ethan Hunt dropping into the shoe with Alex first saying, Hey, G, how are you? Hey, you already know, Alex. It's a good day for sure, man. Thank you for asking as well, Alex. I do appreciate it. But, um, how are you doing today as well, Alex? What have you been up for this fine Friday, Friday I'd say, my man? Hopefully, your Friday is going good over there. Are you doing any, um, uh, VR gaming videos? Anything like that, dude? Hopefully, things are going good for you. Damn, where's a good cargo? Raid weapon stash. We can do a spore control. That'd be quite good. Okay, right, it's right over there. Okay, that's not too bad. And uh, Ethan, though, says I made it around 48 on town yesterday. And hi, oh, yeah, that's pretty good, I'd say. And that's not too bad right there. 48 on town, dude. When you start getting up to like the 30s and stuff, that's when the rounds start to really slow down. You go up to mid 30s, you know, 35, 36. Stuff's really slowing down. 40s is where the challenge comes in, you know? You got a gameplay. <laughs> Ethan's got to got to got to show the, uh, the 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 proof the identity. <laughs> yeah, forty eight sec, forty eight sec, forty eight sec. Um, Josto says nine three five inbound, dude. Nine three five on a. It'd be cool if um Modern Warfare had round based in. It would be cool. Like imagine seeing modern zombie maps. 
again, you know, with the same engine and stuff, but it would be kind of cool. You guys got to agree there. It would be kind of cool, you know? Ever though says, I'm doing good, bro. You, yeah, it's been a good day, haven't it? It's been a good day, man. Just been chilling for the day. Um, can't really complain too much, to be fair, man. What do we do? Got ready for the stream, and yeah, just happened to do some Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, you know? Um, oh, um, Ravens says, I really hope Gulf War Zombies doesn't have mini-map and, and, and armor. Yeah, I'll agree with you there, Ravens. I feel, I feel like the armor kind of takes it off a little bit. Like, again, it just, I don't know, it brings it back to the feeling of a war zone when you got armor plates. You know what I mean? It doesn't really give that zombies feeling. And the mini-map as well. I mean, you've got to look at the little things that need to be taken away. Aren't? Like, people, someone could say, oh, that's just a little thing that they've added in. How is that ruining the game? But it's the little things that count too, you know? Um, okay, right, we should be all good. But yeah, I think realistically they are probably going to add a mini-map. I mean, it. I'm, I'm going to guess it. I'm going to say they're going to add a mini-map. They're going to add an armor plate. So they're probably... You know what else they're going to add in? They're going to add in a ether upgrade. No, not ether. They're going to add in a tall, a tall upgrade bench, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I think from what it sounds like, you know how you've got ether tools on here uh, where you can find them? I guess they've got a bench. They're going to be bringing a bench where you can just upgrade your gun automatically throughout ether tools. If Yeah, it's kind of weird, but... Apparently, they're going to be bringing in a ether... Uh, no, a tall upgrade bench. A tall upgrade bench or something like that. Which is kind of cool. Um, let's have a look. Ravens, they are. It's one of more for engine they're using. Yeah, like... They're, they're... I feel like... I don't know. They're definitely going to be bringing in something like that. No out of a doubt, man. You know, I mean, who... Damn, I can't really... Uh... Just give me two seconds, guys. Damn, I can't really answer the door at the moment because, uh, well, okay, yes, yeah, my bad. Someone's just knocking on my door, but I just can't really answer at the moment. If I do, then I'll go down, which is definitely unfortunate. It would be nice if there was a pausing system or an AFK system on here. I mean, that would be blessed right there. Oh, no. Okay, let's just quickly just get back up real quick. Alex says I'm good. I'm not sure. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm glad T-Day's going good as well, bro. That's a W right there, man. Okay, right, let's just quickly just do this real quick. I hope zombies go... Oh, my bad. Wait there, mate. Come on, bloody finish. There we go. Finally, finally. Ah, oh, piss off. Get away. Right, scallion. Ah, oh, can you actually piss off now? God, this game. Timmy, though, says, I hope zombies go back to the traditional zombies again. Man, but it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. I I feel like the realistic look of it is probably not. Like, I, honestly, Timmy, I agree with you so much there. I generally do wish they were to come back to the classic style of it. You know, hell, I would love for them to do like a, a BO4 style. Do you know how sick that would be? Um, I feel like a lot of people as well would be so hyped for that. And probably bring back Jug. Not like just BO4, but bring back Jug and stuff. Just have the BO4 style or the BO3 style. But I, I don't think they're going to do that. <clears throat> I think that's just going to be like a... I don't know. I feel like this... Um, how can I say? This trail of like Modern Warfare Engine is going to probably die down soon. And then they're probably going to find another another thing to carry on with throughout the years they're probably going to do that to me like if you think about it this is what i was thinking a couple of days ago if you think about it man the jetpack era or the jetpack uh, you know style card you know kept going on and on and on and on and that like stayed for quite a while and then they had to stop it for a little bit and then that's when they went over to uh you know now this new style which is um you know modern warfare engine I want to try and go over to the uh, the store real quick. Where's the buy station? I If they have buy station on it as well, that's going to kind of... Not really going to be a big fan if they bring in buy stations for Cold War. 
Debbie says, yeah. Uh, oh, oh my god. Jesus, these guys don't give a break. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I'll tell you the leaks that's been confirmed by Charlie Intel. Oh, yeah. See, that guy, like, he seems to know everything about it, man. He seems to know, like, all the secrets and stuff that they're bringing out. That would be good to actually know, I'd say to me. He says, the number one, uh, the first one is Gobblegums. The second one is Armor slash Rarity System. The third one is Perk Upgrades. The fourth one is Operators slash show, uh, uh, Operators. Really? The fourth one they're going to be bringing in Operators, dude? Again, I just... Uh, bring in actual characters. I guess because Operators bring them the most money. And so... You yeah, know, if they stop bringing in operators, it's 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 not going to give them as much money as they want. Is how much as they, is how much satis satisfied they would be. You know, which is the sad part to see, man. He also, the, Timmy also though says, um, for five they'll be bringing bringing in mini map again. Mini map. I don't know. Like, I don't. <sighs> it's just I, I, who who wants to have a mini map? No one's asked for a mini map. You know. And for the fifth, score streaks. I don't know. See, if they bring out, like, deep, like, I don't know. If they bring out, like, interesting score streaks. Not like, um, not like an airstrike or, no, a precision airstrike. Screw them, kind of, or a UAV. Like, who wants to, I don't know if you can get UAVs on Cold War plumbing score streaks. But, like, who would want that, you know? I don't know. I mean, personally, I haven't played Cold War to the point of, like, knowing everything about it. But from playing it, you know, I definitely got a bit of an idea from what the game is, you know. Just in lobby waiting edge. Oh, okay, no problem, Shane. You know what we'll do, actually, bro, is I'll, uh, I'll exfil, man. I've got you, bro. I'll, we'll exfil. Um, yeah, we've, you know, we've gotten what we've needed. We've gotten some nice, rare ether tools. And we've got us have a speed killer schematic, which is pretty good. So we'll take that home with us. That should be quite good. And actually, I got two. I got all uh, tier two schematics done, including the crystal. Nice one, Strain. That's a W right there, man. Hell yeah, bro. That's awesome to hear right there, man. Dude, once you get all the crystals, uh, you know, uh, um, what is it? Upgrading crystals and things like that. All the perks. It, it It's fun to play, dude. It's honestly fun to play with. You know, you don't have to rely on people giving you stuff like that. It's quite nice. Oh, shit. We just hit like two zombies and now we're already dead. Okay. Dude, are you kidding me? Ammo buys are coming back as well? What, like, the point of zombies is to, you know, progress. I mean, you start off on a game of Shangri-La. You start off on a game of, that's a good example, Shang or just any kind of zombies map, but Shangri-La, you start off, you build your points, you find the best way to build more points, you know, the Bowie knife or something like that. You build points with the Bowie knife. Then you get the power on. You get Jug. So what you've just done is you've just progressed and like learnt on how to build up. You know, if because I like on Dime Machine, you've literally got the ammo crate right next to you. So there's no progression into that. I think mean, the only kind of progression from what I've done on Cold War is getting Pack a Punch on Dime Machine. Obviously getting perks, and then just getting, what is it, pack, uh, pack a punch, like, for your guns upgrade. But it just doesn't feel the same, really. I would say Cold War's fun, in my opinion. That, that's just me, though. But, like, I don't know. Playing it constantly would just be boring. I don't know. I guess you just have to wait out and see. Wait, wait and see what the game will be like. You know, I don't want to, like, criticize it to the point where I'm like, ah, oh, sound like I know anything, because I don't really know anything about the game. You know, it, it might turn out to be a really good game. It might turn out to be, like, one of the coolest games out there. You know? One of the coolest zombies mode out there. Who knows? Who knows? Um, Strain, though. Strain, though, says, and then I'll be done for tier one. Nice one. That's going to be awesome, Strain. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, if you want, we could try and grind out, grind out some schematics. Um, you know, do contracts. We can even try and go into the Dark Ether portal and, um... Yeah, just see if we could try and defeat any bosses over there or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. I know you can find some pretty rare stuff over there too, which is quite neat. Nice one. That's pretty good stuff. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, and field upgrades. Field upgrades aren't too bad. 
I, I feel like the field upgrades were a cool addition. It was like, I don't know. It, 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 it was kind of like, like, I don't know, using, uh, like, I don't know, Ether Shroud was a bit like using in plain sight. Um, Phoenix, uh, uh, what is it? Healing a Euro was a bit like using Phoenix up. So, it, that, I don't really mind that personally, but uh, I don't know. If they're going to do that, imagine if they're going to do a mode, right? A classic mode and then a regular mode. A classic mode being you just work your way up. So you've got no ammo crate. You've got no field upgrade. You've just got standard perks, you know, and then you've got pack a punch and, you know. Oh, okay. We should be able to try and get that strained. I think with just getting that, you just need to try and do a bunch of contracts. Contracts probably go into different areas. Uh, you know, cool things like that. We, we, we should be able to get that done, bro. Hopefully we can try and um, grind some... How many tokens have we got? Ah, oh, dude. Grinding tokens is going to be quite a grind. Uh, but yeah, if you want to join me strain, let me try and... In fact, let me just quickly just try and change my uh, joining settings. Because I think I changed it to private. So let me just quickly just be right back real quick. Go into here. But yeah, if you guys want to join it as well, if we can try and get up to... Ooh, 15 likes in the stream, that'd be awesome. I don't know how many likes we're at at the moment, guys. But if, uh, you know, we're getting up there to a 15, we get up to 15, I'd say that'd be awesome to see in the chat. Um, let me just go into account. Um, party invites, they're going to be open. Uh, manage invites. Um, yeah, party invites, open. Okay, right. So, yeah, that should be all good. So, yeah, what I'll quickly do is I'll just quickly go back onto here. Not too bad so far. Yeah, okay, right. <coughs> um, they are using... They are mainly focusing on casual fan base since old zombies is too hard for them. Get good already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, like, it does seem like that, to be fair. Because, I mean, you've got all these crutches, you know, you've got ammo crates, you've got field upgrades, you've got plumbing shield purchase it, per purchase it, per purchase it. I can't wait, I don't know what. You got shield buys. You've. Again, it's just crazy, man. Uh, I hope as well they don't start making the zombies like the zombies are on here. Like, if you didn't know, the zombies on this game, like. <sighs> you can't train zombies on this. I mean, you can, but. It's like they don't. I don't know. Like in Red Zone, the zombies will run way too fast. There's no balance on there, you know what I mean? Yeah, whenever you're ready as well, Strained. Whenever you're ready, man. I'll just quickly just try and uh, set up real quick on this. Uh, we'll probably just do schematics. Um, do uh, Jerk. Try and get Jerk. Wait, we got Jerk around here. I don't know if we've got Jerk here. No, we don't have a Jerk there. Okay. Let me just quickly just try and edit real quick. Yeah, edit. Um, okay, right. So, just gonna quickly try and get stamina. That won't be too bad. Um, try and get, yeah, we'll just get a, ca a common ether upgrade. I started off playing BR1 and then got good from there. Yeah, you know, like, you start off, it's like, it, it's just saying, like, you know, you build up, you know? When you're on, I don't know, like, I mean, if this if this is going to turn out just to become, like, a, you know, you start off and you get a spawn in with the blooming Wonder Wolf and you got Armour Crane next to you and you spawn in with perks, a bit like this, but on round base, that's not going to be fun. How is that going to be fun? That's, that's going to be so boring, you know? I feel like complaining about COD is not really, like, good and stuff. I don't know. I don't know if it's good to complain about the game all the time, but... I guess it's a good kind of conversation to have, you know. I'm not, it's not letting me join. Um, I got to restart. Oh, never mind. I'll give you a jug, AG. Oh, no problem. I do appreciate that strength. That'd be awesome, man. Hope complaining will make Activision wake up. <laughs> I mean, hopefully. Hopefully. But, I don't know. I mean... 
I mean, I, it might do. It might do. The thing is, like, if if it does turn out that, like, like you know, us... I wouldn't even say us complaining, but us giving good good feedback about it. It's not even us complaining. It's us probably giving good feedback about the game. Um... <clears throat> Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if they'll ever become bankrupt to me. The craziest thing is, man, is like, surprisingly, they're, I mean, their games are doing great in terms of sales and stuff. Um, you know, like Vanguard being the most hated, hated Call of Duty, right? And that had one million more sales than BO2. Like, what? I don't know. It's weird. I don't know, dude. It's really weird, I'd say to me. Like, I think there's the, like there's probably one side that like one big side, and this is just us not liking the game. And then there's just one other side of casual players that just you know tend to play and stuff, and just kind of like in play the game. Um, uh, yeah, screw it. If you want the blood burner keys, there you go, man. You can have the blood burner keys. You can use it if you want to. There you go. You can hop on it if you want, man. Um, there we go. Right, okay. Let's try and see which kind of contract we can try and do. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's roll. Let's roll. Oh, my God. What the hell? Whoa. Oh, no, dude. Wait, what's going on here? What the fuck? Okay. I don't know if that's... This bike's all screwed up, dude. There we go. Okay, hopefully... Oh, going through here now. Let's have a quick look, though. Um, it's microtransactions. People buy a total of 1,000 pounds worth of bundles i guess yeah you got a good point there i mean that's that, that that's a good reason well that's a reason why they're carrying on with the bundles because it's making them so much money um a, another thing i i think i watched it was a video of like someone talking about it like how every game now is a live service game like what i mean by that is like you know how like every game now has updates on them it uh, games come out like all buggy and stuff games apparently anyway used to just come out and that would be it like they would come out and be complete they wouldn't have any updates on them like it would just be uh, uh you know either the game would have a bug in it or the game would be working perfectly fine for people and that was it but i guess with live service games games becoming live service that's made game companies become so much more richer as well which is insane to, which is kind of crazy to see you know I think it made Activision. I think again, it was a video from uh, the Act Man, which is pretty cool. He explained it. I think he showed um, from the normal payout of ten million dollars in a month, it made them with using live service games, live service on the games. It made them up to sixty million, dude, which is insane. Crazy amount of pounds. Yeah, I don't know why people actually buy bundles. Like, I, I don't know. I, I've never seen the attraction of bundles. Whenever you, when a person, whenever I see a bundle, I just think, oh, I don't know, dude. I've already bought the game. I don't want to cough up more money to look cool on the game. I don't know. I guess everyone's different, though. You know what I mean? Everyone's different. People that buy bundles aren't like bad or anything. Just, I don't know. Um, hey, we even got Apocalypse that comes to the stream. Says, yo, OG, I uploaded two spiritual uh, speedruns on my channel. You should check them out. Also, uh, check DMs. Oh, yeah, dude. We'd love to check them out. inside Apocalyptic. See what they're like and stuff. Speedruns on Skur Ritual. That's quite interesting, man. We'd love to see what that's like, dude. And glad to see you come to the stream as well, bro. Hopefully having a great day over there. Um, Apocalyptic. We're on some Modern Warfare 3 zombies, man. We've got open lobby, so if anyone does want to join in, you guys are more than welcome to. We got we're playing uh, we're trying out new season three that dropped, which is kinda cool. Reloading. I got dual wheeled singers AG. Nice one. Yeah, I'd seen when we was using the uh, bike, they were literally just sticking out all over the place. I was like, what the hell, dude? Oh, strained, if you want this. I don't know if you want that strained. I don't know if you've already got that, bro, but if you don't, 
I'll um, I'll keep it for you, man. If you don't have that, let's have a quick look though. Um, damn Apex, damn Apex, uh, already sp apocalyptic, already speed running, legend, uh, Max, man. legend for sure, dude. Um, they think it looks cool and amazing if I play Fox Nights. <laughs> See, like, I know Fortnite has a bunch of them, like, micro microtransactions, uh, like, um, system, you know, like, that. I don't know, whenever there's something popular uh, around the world that comes out, like a new song, an, an artist brought out a new song, you bet a game would be coming out with a bundle of that artist, like, you know, I'm sure they'll have, like, a Travis Scott bundle on Fortnite, an Eminem bundle on Fortnite, uh... I mean, they've got a Snoop Dogg bundle on here. They've got a Nicki Minaj bundle, which they dropped the Nicki Minaj bundle as soon as that stupid-ass Nicki Minaj song came out. The Barbie Girl one, which, again, like... I don't know. I don't know. Like, who? I, I, who? who? I, don't get, I don't know who would... Listen to that song and by God, I I don't know if there is anyone that is discriminating right there, dude. Oh my jahibas, you know. Oh, what am I going, dude? Hell yeah, let's kill these guys. Let's go through here. I'm too hungry for blood. I've been lurking, says the ones, listening, playing BO2 better than round 51. Hey, W right there, though, ones. That is awesome to hear, man. Hell yeah, dude. What, what kind of strategy are you doing, bro? You're doing the, um... I know for Buried, you can do a bunch of strats, though. Um, you can do the camping strat and jug. You can do the bar strat. Not, I was going to say the bar strat. The bar strategy, which is kind of cool. That one's quite nice. Deliver the cargo? Okay, yeah, we'll deliver the cargo. Let's deliver the cargo. But hey, that doesn't sound too bad. I went, hey, playing some classic buried, you can't go wrong with it, man. You can't go wrong with it, dude. So, yeah, in fact, talking about, you know, BO2 maps, Buried dropping soon is going to be awesome. Buried remake. Can't wait for that, man. Gaming has died, man. Honestly, I feel like, uh, I don't know if this might happen, but like, I have a feeling gaming might die. So, uh, I don't know if it will die soon, but like, I feel like it would. Uh, there's definitely going to be something that's going to overtake gaming in terms of like entertainment. It's there's gotta, surely, right? Personally, I'd like want want to see that, but I mean, I don't know. Like, there, there's definitely going to be something out there that can overtake. That's going to be able to overtake the the entertainment of gaming. You know, that's my feeling upon it anyway. Like, what, 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 what would games be like in the next 20 years? Because, I don't know. In the next 50 years, I'm going to probably say there's not going to be really many, like, um, I don't know. They're probably going to have, uh, what is it, them, them VR headsets, but, like, advanced, you know? And that's what that's what's gaming that that is what gaming is gonna be like you know that you're not gonna have like a flat screen anymore flat screens are gonna be so old that that is probably gonna happen dude flat screens are gonna be looked at as ancient you know and we're out here right now thinking you know curve monitors flat screens the new games are the best graphics of the shit you know but I'm just shooting zombies and training near the box hey respect for right there dude what am I doing what am I doing what the hell. That's respectable, though, Rance. Hell yeah, man. You've got some new toys. Jeez, jeez. Okay. Next, you know, zombies apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse happened in real life. Oh, my God. You never know, dude. It might, you know. And we'll have a real-life gun upgrading system. We're going to have real-life, you know. <laughs> We're going to have real-life perks, you know, to, to, to keep us up and stuff, you know. <laughs> Dude, if that happens, that would be... I don't know if that's going to be really fun or just... I don't even know, you know. And people start... Um, and people start to running in circles. <laughs> like, like their head is not... <laughs> 
<laughs> bro. <laughs> Just imagine if that actually happened in real life, dude. Like, I don't know. There was some crazy chemical experiment gone wrong, I'd say to me. And I don't know. People all just became zombies, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know. That would be kind of funny, to be fair. Obviously, it'd be scary, though. Like, I mean, like, in real life, that would be... That would be scary as hell unless they're like bo1 and bo2 zombies where they're running a little bit slower and eh, that's not too bad i mean you'll just have to be walking like this and you're like all oh, good <laughs> oh my god bro that would be funny though i don't even know dude who knows though i mean like i don't know everyone like in terms of an apocalypse everyone's there's always been that kind of thought of an apocalypse happening you know oh shit you know, zombies out breaking and everything. I don't know. It might happen. It might come to life, man. Aliens are all though. Yes. I mean, bro. Like, how big the universe is. Aliens are definitely going to be real, man. Oh, my God, dude. Jesus. Aliens are for sure going to be real. I wouldn't even say, like, I don't know. You got to think... Um, like, with each planet, they've got different oxygen levels. Or they probably don't even have oxygen levels. So, I don't know. Like, aliens on different worlds might just look exactly like us. But probably different sizes, different shapes. Probably got more than three arms or something like that. Yeah, no. Wait, what? Do... Oh. Huh. All right, okay. Well, at least at least I get to see where I'm going now. Uh, okay. Just ram right up my backside. Why don't you? <laughs> I'll be a one hit down. <laughs> Dude, I mean, hey, I could probably see all of us being one hit down with the, you know, if there was an apocalypse, apocalypse in real life, you know. What's that area? I don't have no clue what that area is, but oh, let's, go on, let's check it out, man. Don't know what that place is like as well, but we'll have to have a look. Oh, you never know. I mean, they could do. Like, I don't know. If 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 you're seeing like a, if you imagine there's another planet out there right now, that has different have it has a different species on that planet you know like you gotta think quite you, you, how can i say like you gotta think for like they probably will i don't know if like if if we were to go into another planet and then meet another species alien species like they're definitely gonna try and take us out they'll probably look at us as a threat you know who knows though Damn, I'm waiting to get some better guns over here. In fact, let me uh, let me try and go over to the buy station. Yeah, we'll go over to the buy station. Because we all know zombies isn't real, but aliens are. Dude, for sure, man. Aliens, they got to be real, dude. They've got to be real. No out of a doubt, man. The craziest thing, though, I mean, like, do, do, would you think, like... I guess right now, in this second, as right now, there's another species out there on another planet that is more advanced than us. That has probably got like a, I don't know, like I don't know. They've already got like rocket ships made and stuff like that. Or could we be the most advanced species out there, where we've already got you know technology like this and crazy things like that, you know, cars. Spaceships, um, phones, Call of Duty, you know, <laughs> nah, I'm joking, God is definitely not advanced. Um, hey, we've got Sion though coming to the stream, says, oh, our amigos, Modern Warfare 3 zombies looks wacky, uh, you know, I know, man, Modern Warfare 3 zombies doesn't, it definitely doesn't hit the taste for a lot of people, you know, a lot of people look at this game as just, uh, how can I say, just um, how can, just literally DMZ, uh, you know, based from the other mode from Modern Warfare 2. People even look at this game as just Modern Warfare 2, really. 
you know. By the way, gee, oh uh, no, Simon says, by the way, um, do I have to play Modern Warfare 3, 3 Zombies to understand Gulf War Zombies? I hope not, Simon. I really hope not because I don't know, but I would say this, man. I personally hope you don't have to do that because I'm not really too interested about the story. I don't think anyone else is that too much, is that interested about the story of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I think a lot of people find it kind of, I don't know, trash. Um, but hopefully not, dude. I think with Gulf War, it's going to be, it's going to be different, I think, anyway, you know. We're glad to see you come to the stream as well, Cyan. Hopefully having a great day over there, man. Pleasure to see you coming by. Yeah, we're just doing a nice, just casual stream on some Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Just having a good time. Just chilling, talking, having a vibe. Just talking crap about this game as well. You know, we do. We like criticising Call of Duty at times. Yeah, I'm not being, um, um, tell me this is, yeah, I'm not being paranoid, but years ago, they caught an alien-shaped, uh, creature on cam. Really? I guess, like, with, with some type of footage I've got, I don't, I don't know if I might have seen something like that. I don't know if it was the one to me where they captured, uh, a flying object that went really fast, um, throughout the air, and they was able to lock on to the object that was moving really fast, and... From there, they just said it was a, a spaceship or some type of alien craft. Which, again, you never know, man. You never know. I'm out of armor. Ah, uh, oh, strained. If you want to, I'll drop you some armor, man. Oh, dude, you need to get some plates. Um, yeah, what the hell? Right, okay, let me help you out, strained. Let me come over to you, man. I'll give you, I'll give you my cash because really, I don't really need that much stuff at the moment, bro. I'm kind of set out, you know? Strained. Let me come over to you, bro. Let me come over to you. So let me just drop you this. Straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just drop you this, mate. I don't really need that as well. You can have that if you want. And then we'll just go over to the buy station if you want, man. Ah, oh, this dog, go away. Um, Simon that says... Oh, no, not Simon. Chandler says, I have a place. I'll do uh, one more um, contract and then exfil. Chill in the lobby for a bit. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, Sean. I feel you there, man. Think of what kind of, uh, what kind of contract we can try and do. I think there's one just right down... Is it this one? Defend? No, it's not that one. Escort. Eliminate bounty. Uh, okay, yeah. I guess we'll do an escort one. This one's probably the best out of all of them that we do see. Trick says, freaking stones. So, I guess there's levels. There's stones. There's having a chill day. And then there's freaking stone. I like it, Trick. I like it, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> that sounds awesome, bro. Hell yeah, man. Having a chill Friday. It's Friday as well, man. You know, so you definitely deserve to have a chill one. You know, obviously, you know. Don't do too much, but you know, it's having a chill day and stuff. <laughs> nah, uh, I never seen that. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, it's really weird, man. I, I think I might have seen seen the one that you're on about that to me. I might have, like, seen, seen a couple of videos out there, but yeah, it's really weird. They, I don't know, they, they find this new camp, they, they make this new camera system where they can lock onto potential enemy, like, you know, vehicles, like jets or whatever, whatnot, uh, jets. And yeah, they're, they're, I think they're in the ocean, and then they just capture, th their camera locks on automatically to this really fast-moving object, and yeah, it's insane. I don't know how fast it was going, I, I couldn't say how fast it was going, but yeah, it was, it was going pretty fast. Oh, what flavor vape, dude? Oh, man, so... With these ones, I've just got a casual blueberry raspberry lemon, but I would love to show it right now. But, dude, let me show you this. So, with this one, right, this has... These vapes have two flavor, uh, two flavors in them, but now I've just got one flavor vape. But, as you see, it splits, and it goes into a different... One. You, you guys might be able to have this. It, this is from America, because the packaging it has 21. Normally over here it has 18, like for the age and stuff. But yeah, 
lemon, ra bl blueberry, raspberry, lemon flavor. Oh, dude, I love the flavor, man. Love the flavor. It's not... Yeah, yeah. Sion, though, says, I hope... I hope I only need to play Cold War to a uh, Cold War to enjoy Gulf War zombies. I only play Treyarch games with COD Go uh, with COD Ghost Extinction and the original trilogy. Yeah, I feel you there, man. Like if it's if it's like category of Modern Warfare series and Treyarch series, Treyarch series on top, man. You know, you got the Black Ops. Uh, you know, you got like the Black Ops zombie style. Got the Black Ops campaign, which is pretty cool. You know, and just the just the style of the Black Ops series, just uh, I would say hits better. You know, uh, Cold War I feel like had like a nice Arcadia feeling, which is pretty cool. I really hope we don't have to mess up here, but I really do hope they don't carry on the story from Modern Warfare over to um, Golf War, because that would be kind of poop. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I think we really do need to exfil because these guns that we've got are kind of poop. Kind of poopy. You're reloading Revenant. Oh. oh my god. How many times are we getting hit? Dude, our guns are back punch from Ritz. I don't know if they've changed it. It's probably just how crap this gun is, dude. We need to get some better guns over here. This gun absolutely sucks. You know, Trick though says, never seen one that splits. What's the splitting do? So it's like it's a dual flavored vapro. So when it splits, you've got, oh, there we go. You've got one flavor chamber there and the other flavor chamber here. And yeah, so I guess when you click it there, you've got one flavor that goes down here and then one flavor that comes down here as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah, they're quite nice. They came in recently in the, uh, I think, uh, Euro Shop. We've got a place called Euro Shop over here. They're not too bad, to be honest. You guys might have them, though. I, I, I think it said it came from California, I think, anyway. Pretty good flavor, though. It's pretty good. You have Skittles flavor. You've got blooming Hubba Bubba flavor. I don't know if you guys have Hubba Bubbas over there, but, ooh. It's like little 5p chewing gums bubble gum but in a, a, a vape flavor which is kind of nice you know <laughs> um but yeah after i just need to eat real quick yeah that's all cool Sean. that's all cool take your time as well man take your time bro i don't think we're making it out of this one Sean. i'm not gonna lie man these zombies are just absolutely destroying the heck out of our mobility vehicle i mean it's only selling on fire dude we need an extinguisher uh, oh, so and I says, one of your favorite weapons on card? I always love the Uzi and the double-barreled shotgun. I know they're trash, but they feel amazing to use. I feel you there. Like, guns that, that don't always operate good, but they just, they feel good to use. So, oh man, you know, we'd probably have to say, one of the ones I do like to use is Call of Duty Ghosts, the K7. I feel like I need to bring that gun back. I remember I did research on that gun as well. It's a pretty old gun. The K7 SMG. It's like the silenced version. Silenced SMG version of the Honey Badger. That probably has to be one of them. Um, probably some of the World War II guns. Like the... Oh, what, what do they call it? I think it's called the um, the Ribby... The Ribeye Rolls. I don't know if you played World War II before, Siam, but... Ribeye Rolls on World War II? Oh, you can't go wrong with it, man. A great SMG to use for sure, dude. Accurate as well. Yeah, we failed it. Okay, let's quickly go over here and we'll just quickly just exfil because <laughs> we need to, um, yeah, we need to just try and exfil. Yeah, probably the ribeye rolls. And if it's in terms of shotgun, man, um, shotguns, uh, I don't know. They've got some really nice shotguns out there, bro. I think. Probably go with the Spaz 12. If not the Spaz 12. No. Spaz 12 or the China Lake. I love... I don't know why. I just love the China Lake. Um, I, I, again, I don't know why. The China Lake... I feel like the China Lake is just awesome, dude. It's a heavy, you know, grenade launcher. More of a mo mobile one, you know? But obviously, whenever using it, it's not the best, you know? But it's a nice... It's a nice... 
uh, rocket launcher to use, you know. Oh, we're going to do some stunts over here. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, right. Let's just let's get out of here straight. I don't... The guns I'm using are absolute trash. We need, we need, I need to get some better guns or something like that. I don't know. Um... Oh, Timmy though says, I want something... Uh, no, I want Samantha, an old storyline to return. The story tell... The sto oh, pardon, pardon me. Sorry about that. The storyline felt amazing. I guess them bringing back that classic, I don't know, you know, uh, the classic, you know, storyline and stuff with the four main characters. It would be cool to see that return. Or I wouldn't say it would be cool to see that return, but something like that. You know what they need, I'd say to me? They need a committed crew. Like, imagine if Chaos carried on. I know a lot of people didn't really like Chaos, but if Chaos would have carried on, that would have been wicked. You know? Um, or even the Victor's crew. Again, Victor's crew, not really that liked, but, you know, I feel like with some time, people will start to like the Victor's crew a bit more. I mean, they're quite an old crew now. You know, they started off in Black Ops 2, which is kind of crazy, man. Um, oh my god. Whoa. Chill out there, bro. Oh, okay, this is pretty good. But yeah, it would be nice, because what they do now to me is, it, as soon as they make a storyline, if it's a, an, uh, a campaign, or a zombies, a, zomb a zombies mode, and they bring out a specific crew, and that crew just doesn't do good, they think, oh, okay, we're just going to throw it off and say this is trash. And then they just start off over again. And that's why we want to brought bundles now. Uh, operators for the zombies ones. Because, I don't know, every crew that comes out now is always hated. Or it seems like that anyway. Like, Chaos Crew came out. You didn't really like that. I can even I can even agree. I didn't really like the Chaos Crew when it first came out. But you start to get used to it, you know? Time this says. Um, I liked COD 1 to 2 and 3 a lot. Still, incredibly underrated games. Um, which is surprisingly, which is surprising because they are a part of one of the missed overrated franchises ever. I guess it, with COD 1, 2, and 3, like the originals, like the first of the first that came out. That's interesting, son. It would be cool to try out COD 1, 2, COD 1, COD 2, and then all the way up to COD 3. I mean, they're like the, you know, they're the originals, the classics. Someone also says the COD 1, 2, and 3 are like, um, persons, COD 1 to 2, and Eternal Punishment to the Persona community. Oh, okay. I mean, again, like, if they were to bring back, like, a remaster, see, that would be called cool, a remaster to them cards. Like, you know, COD 1, uh, I, I think COD fi uh, Finest Hour, Call of Duty Finest Hour, but change it a little bit, that would be interesting, you know? Show this is lol. Time to play with the uh, with the seats. Hell yeah, dude, with the gamer chairs. Hell yeah, strained. Um Alright, I'll be right back here. Do you know problem as well, strained? No problem. And we will be doing another game in just a second. Just got to just gotta quickly go to the toilet before that though. We got Mr. Motivator dropping into the stream saying sub. Hey, welcome to the stream, Mr. Motivator. Glad to see you come to the stream, man. How are you doing today, bro? Hopefully you're having a great day over there, man. We're just on a bit of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. We're just chilling, having a good time over here. But um, how are we doing today, Mr. Motivator? Hopefully you're having a great day over there, man. Um, four people. Blood really, blood really fell off. Four people watching. Well, hopefully, hopefully we can try and pick it back up. You know, again, you get your good days and you get your bad days. So, well, I wouldn't even say this is a bad day right here. But, hey, if we can try and pick it back up, you know. And UTS dropping. UTS? What is the UTS? I'm good. Hey, that's good to hear, though, Mr. Motivator. Glad to hear your day's going good, man. If we do have four people, it's all good, though. It's all good. Hopefully, people are still enjoying Over the four people, or I guess three people, because I'm watching. I've got the stream with the background. Over the three people are enjoying it, having a good time. If you guys are enjoying it, new to the channel, feel free to hit that like and subscribe, guys. I'd be much appreciated for the channel's growth. I don't know how many likes we're on. I wish I could see the amount of likes we're on, but this YouTube update, um, for some reason, just, uh, yeah, I can't see the likes. I can't see the likes. <laughs> I don't get why. This is annoying. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. I can't really see the, um, have they hid it or something? Because I just can't see it. Can I see it through YouTube Studio? Let's have a quick look. Um, 
playing GTA Online. I got the Oppressor Mark 1. Nice one. How are Mr. Mind that doesn't sound too bad, man. You know, there's a cool glitch you could do with the, with the Mark 1. I don't know if they've still got it, but yeah, there used to be a sick glitch you could do with that game, man, or with that um, uh, vehicle. You could infinitely fly if you were to fly backwards. It's actually sick. Um, Cyan, though, says... Um, I have been thinking about what Wild Stuff COD could do to keep things interesting since Activision wants to keep releasing games yearly. Pitch ideas, a World War One COD game. Yeah, like, we've never had a World War One COD game, I think, Science. So it would be really cool to see, uh, you know, a World War One style Call of Duty game. Like, that would be interesting to have a look at. Um, I don't know if they'll ever do that, though. Because that would be kind of rough, I'd say. I don't know, though. I mean, they could bring out all these different guns. They, the guns don't even have to be accurate to the setting. You know? Hey, 11 likes as well, though, guys. If we could try and get up to 15, only 4 likes well away, that would be much appreciated. Hey, thank you as well to me. I do appreciate it, man. You got my back, bro. Yeah, I don't know why. It just doesn't show for me on, for some reason. So I'm just going to have to use, just use the YouTube studio to see likes. I don't know if you guys have the same layout, but... This is what I'm seeing right now. This is this is this is the painful view I'm seeing right now. I can't see the likes or anything like that. It's proper annoying. I just yeah, it doesn't show. I don't get it. Um, but yeah, we'll be back in just a second, guys. Uh, yeah, just gonna quickly go to the toilet. Two seconds, guys. Two seconds. Okay, right. We're back in. Let me squeeze it. Shit. Didn't mean to miss that phone call. Okay, right. Um, why buy a presser Mark II, says Mr. Minervator, when you can do the Mark I glitch to fly into infinity? Yeah, you can literally... Honestly, it's so cool, uh, Mr. Minervator. You can literally fly infinitely, dude, with the Mark I. It's honestly a blessing right there, you know? Uh, um, Minervator says, Bro, going to the uh, Raffaella music sound better when you're... Uh, you're playing? It's night time? It's like, uh... Oh, oh, okay. When you go into the radio and music sounds better when you're playing it when it's night time. Oh, yeah. It's, you know, GTA is nice with the music and stuff, man. They, I think they did it great with the music options on GTA 5. They did, good, they did a good job, in my opinion, with that. It's such... It's getting, to, uh, you know, quite an old game, but you got to give it to the music, you know? They've done a good job with the music, man. Um, Zion, though, also says... But, I mean... World War One game that nerfs guns, plays and stays accurate to World War One. Try focus on melee. I know it sounds horrible, but it's a Resident Evil Four situation where 
it's a high risk and high reward. I mean, dude, even saying that as well, like having more melee weapons, it would be a change to see Cyan. Like, it would be interesting. I personally I think that would be a cool idea, Cyan. It would be something different, you know? Like, it, wouldn't, it would be a unique Call of Duty to see if they were to do something like that. That's a good idea right there, Cyan. You never know, though, man. They might end up doing stuff like that because, I mean, just imagine, like, how... Like, they're, I don't know how they talk about what idea, like, the ideas they're going to be doing, but you've got to imagine how boring that their ideas are going to be for the next, like, fifth car. Like, oh, let's bring in the Commando and the MP5 again. Let's, let you know, like, they, they're going to be really bored of ideas. So they might actually end up start, they might end up bringing out, cods like that where it's like cod world war one or you know i mean how many guns were in world war one in fact i, I want to see that real quick before we go into a game i want to see that how many guns were in world war one there's got to be a good amount of guns right this would be a great idea right here how many guns were in world war one dude that was a meat all right there were a major of 12,000 guns by the time the war broke out in 1914 and uh, become 100,000 guns in a very short time. So yeah, th there's there's plenty of enough guns to bring on a COD from World War One. You know? Um, a different idea would be a full remake of the World at War, but without uh, censorship. Oh yeah, without censorship or... And maybe add a... a oh no, maybe add a bonus campaign where you could play from the German perspective. We never play as the bad guy. Yeah, see, as well, sign that would be a cool idea too. Like, honestly, you're springing out some cool ideas there, man. You know? That'll actually be an interesting one right there, dude. Like, playing as, you know, the 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 offensive side uh, of it. You know, and seeing the horrors of what they did back then, what went on. That'd be a cool idea, man. I rate that. I generally do rate that, Cyan. That'd be interesting. If they actually do end up doing that, that would, that would generally bring more people in as well. Because more people would be like, oh, okay, this is cool. I've never played as the Germans, you know, back then. Uh, you know, card. I don't know if they see that as, like, a, a danger. Like, oh, it might, you know, it might offend a couple people. But if it, if it offends people, then that's kind of stupid. You know what I mean? That's kind of dumb. Um, I'll join back if you're still alive, AG. Just got to do two things in the house. Yeah, sure, no problem, Strain. No problem. Take your time as well, man. Um, I'll, I'll just quickly just do, um... <coughs> <coughs> I'll just quickly just do this game. Okay, yeah, that, that's our guns right there. Yeah, we'll just do a game real quick, and then, yeah, whenever people want to join in, you guys are more than welcome to. So, let's probably get... Mandeveo, though, says, no, you're flying with the, um, oh, wait, then, let me just, just try and get this real quick. Uh, no, you're flying with the Mark 1 at night time and the radio playing music. Sounds better with you. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I know what you mean. Music sounds better with you. And flying with your homie. Just hits different. Hey, it does, man. It does hit different when you're listening, you know, I guess, I guess that song's off, uh, Pop FM, I think. Is it Pop FM? You know... Okay, let's have a quick look. Let's get, uh... Oh, we got Tombstone this time. Okay, that's not too bad. We can get that. We can probably get Jug as well. That'd be quite nice. I would love to get a... Uh... Yeah, that should be all good. And then what's good for uh, schematics? Try and just leave off that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So that might throw a knife. That might do better. Then probably a uh, stim. That'll help out. We want to have Aoife Shark because we ain't going to... We don't want to be going down. Oh, you know what? Let's do squad fill as well. We want to actually have people join in with us. All right. Excited to actually have some people join in with us this time. Like, not just playing solo and stuff. Someone that says, unique COD games is what we need. Yes, unique. Like, right now, it just feels so generic. I mean, 
Modern Warfare 3, like, they have been doing updates with this game to make it feel different. Gotta give them that, but it still feels like Modern Warfare 2. It generally does. I mean, it's not different. It's not really different from the previous card. Although the updates I've been doing does make it feel different, but at the same time, it doesn't feel different, if it makes any sense. That's why Treyarch, Treyarch has stayed on the top for so long, and why the original Modern Warfare games uh, are, are iconic. They didn't care about offending people. It was just about creativity. It does seem like that, you know? It does seem like that. I mean, if you look at... I never got to play the... Well, I did, but I never got to play the classic Modern Warfare's when they first came out. But from what it seems, you know, COD 4 first came out, then it was Modern Warfare 2, and then it was Modern Warfare 3. Not in a row, but, you know, their next games, that, that, that was the trail of their games for the Modern Warfare series. And so I guess you could say, oh, that just, uh, like, I guess back then it was like, okay, this is just the same as last card, you know? With Treyarch, you know, you've got, I believe, World at War, then you've got BO1, then you've got BO2, which all of them are different in different time settings as well, you know? World at War, 1940s, BO1, 1960s. BO2, 2025. BO3, 2060s. BO4, I think 2040s, I think. I think, anyway, 2040. But yeah, that would be cool to see, though, Cyan. A BO, um, what is it? A World War One Call of Duty. But seeing up to 12,000 guns, or 1,000, yeah, 1,200 12, guns being made in World War One. They have so many options. They gotta do it. They gotta do it. I wanna see a good type of wacky, I, w I wanna see the good type of wacky stuff again. Like JFK and Castro saying one-liners and kill and killing zombies, not Snoop Dogg and Nicki Minaj. Dude, tell me about it. Like, I guess Snoop Dogg's kind of cool, but Nicki Minaj hits the line, dude. And that Izzy skin as well. Stop it with that crap. Like, they brought out uh, with season three. Like, I know a lot of like I know like everyone smokes like weed and stuff, but they brought out a weed bundle, and I was like, I don't know. We've seen that now, like hundreds of times okay like, like five times now with a weed bundle but like i i don't know it's so boring like yeah they brought up this bundle um stony sloth bundle um and it was just another weed bundle and stuff and like it, obviously everyone bought the bundle because it you can have weed stickers on your on on your account and stuff but it, it's just it's it's like a cash grab really it for them it's like oh hey Try out this really, buy this really popular bundle that everyone loves doing and look cool. Personally, I don't smoke anything like that, so, I, hey, you know, it doesn't affect me at all, but, you know. Um, hey, McToffin's Revenge, though, dropping it says, so, bro, dropping a like. Hey, thank you, McToffin. Do appreciate it, man. The legend coming into the stream. Welcome to the stream, McToffin. Hey, we're just on some Modern Warfare 3 zombies, man. You already know, dude. We're chilling. We're having a fun time. We're trying out new Season 3 as well that dropped uh, about a week ago, I think, bro. You know? But hey, pleasure to see you come to the stream, Tarfin. Hopefully, having a wonderful day over there, man. Yeah, we're just doing a bunch of cool contracts. We're going to try and unlock as well the new Morse... Uh, the new... The new Morse Advanced Warfare sniper that they dropped out. Mission failed. Now we're failing missions already. We've just started off, guys. Come on. Let's, um, raid weapon stash, right, okay, let's, oh, yikes, uh, okay, raid weapon stash, no, should we do escort, uh, I feel like, let, let, let's do some easy ones, eliminate the bounty, hopefully it's not a stupid disciple, I swear to god, if it's a disciple, dude, that's gonna be super annoying, dude, um, A as well, we've got a mighty viking, deploying in the stream. He's got his parachute. He's deployed into the stream. Welcome to the stream as well, Mighty Viking. Pleasure to see you coming by, man. We're starting a bit of Modern Warfare 3. You already know, dude. How are you doing today, though, I'd say, Mighty Viking? How is your day going today, my man? Hope you're having a wonderful day over there, bro. Sorry, I said, I think the last offensive uh, COD game was BO2. I think 
I think they finally, I, I think the family of one of its historical real people in the game got offended by their representation. If people are getting offended over, you know, I'm not going to say some of the names of the things, but you know, obviously, of some of the obvious things that are in old cards, if people are getting offended from them, just don't play the game then. I think Vanguard seemed to um, bring up like, yeah, was it Vanguard? Yeah, Vanguard, like on one of the cutscenes, obviously this had a pretty, you know, uh, word, you know, uh, I think it was like one of the first cutscenes. So I, I'd say Vanguard, like, you know, with the cuts, I don't really mind the cutscenes, but the campaign obviously was trash, apparently with the story, never played the campaign, but apparently it was trash. Um, but yeah, I mean, if they were to start bringing back, just, I don't know. If they were to start just bringing back, you know, like, the original things they brought back and stop making it feel like uh, the game that they're bringing out is for all ages. You know, for, like, people under 18 that can play it. You know, it's just, it, it would definitely make the game better, if you know what I mean. I don't know, though. I don't know. Where's this bounty? Okay, right, we're going over here now. One of those says... Oh, no, hey, you're getting uh, resurrected again, AG. Hey, you already know, Motivator, we're getting resurrected. I, I I don't know how we are, but if it's either going to the game, we got this, dude, you know? We've got a Motivite in those saying, hope you can come, I uh, hope you can c come torture me in my streams later. Hell yeah, dude, what kind of things are you doing on your streams? I'd say, Motivite, are you doing some BO2, BO1, anything like that? They would love to come by, man. Doing a 500 uh, video uh, special torture stream. Oh, that's going to be awesome. I guess it's the 500 uh, uh, number being in terms of points and stuff like that. Um, hey, we've got Ninja Gaming though. Says Modern Warfare 3 vibes. You already know, dude. So Modern Warfare 3 vibes. What could be better, I'd say? Uh, you know, probably classics almost could be better than this. But hey, you know, it's sometimes, it's sometimes fun just to play a chill game. You know, I see this as just a fun game to just relax on. Not really take so serious. Have a vibe. Have a bit of fun, you know. But glad to see you come to the stream as well, Ninja. How are you doing today, man? Hopefully, you're having a great, great day over there, dude. Come on. Explode as you're meant to. Oh, my God. He's down. Oh, God. He's really grabbing our cheeks right now. We just want to be a little bit careful. Uh, Wildfire is welcoming in. we got more people coming to the stream. Wildfire is saying, Sub, hey, welcome to the stream as well. Wildfire, pleasure to see you coming back to the channel, man. How are we doing today as well, bro? What is your day being like today, man? I hope you're having a good day over there. We're on a bit of Modern Warfare 3 zombies. If anyone does want to join in, you guys are more than welcome to. More than happy for people to join in and stuff. There we go. Dude, I feel like the shotguns. Respect for that, man. Honestly, we're actually getting some decent weapon power here. Not... Not bull crap. Zion though says, honestly, I'd rather take bundles over season passes. Really? Okay. That's that's respectful as well. And uh, battle passes. Um, would love to see something like Halo 5, where you can get different voice actors to be multiplayer announcers. Imagine Woods. Oh, like, I know what you mean. I guess, like, you know, when you start up on a game of Team Deathmatch, you have the voice actor of Woods coming and says, you know, Team Deathmatch, go get them, or something like that, or... You know, um, having uh, Mason, or uh, you know, as a voice actor, or on the zombie side mode. I don't know if this would make any sense, but having like a, you know, the Power Ups voice actor as Nikolai or Dempsey, but like more of a demonic voice. Like that would, I get where you're coming from there. That would be cool. I think bundles, personally, then they're, they're 100 times better, way, way better than. Um, supply crates. Much like... I don't think anything could be worse than having them stupid gamble crates that you would have to put a bunch of money in to win something. To be better than the, 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 your opposing enemy on a game. Like, that was that was a trash era for card, man. And that carried on for a long time. So I think bundles, they're not terrible. The only issue with bundles is, I would say, not the bundles itself. Not you being able to be as Nicki Minaj when playing, but apparently they figured out that people have realized, I've got videos on it, whenever you buy a bundle, you get put into easier lobbies, which 
I don't know if this is true or not. If that is true, I just... I guess we can all agree that's a little bit rubbish for Activision to do that. But again, it's much better than supply drops. You know, season passes as well was kind of annoying. I could say, like, any kind of type of transaction was kind of annoying. But season passes, I could understand why they were a bit annoying. I think DLCs, I would personally, I'd rather see because it's just, it would... Whatever involves money for, obviously, any game company, uh, they will put as much energy in to get you to buy a DLC or a bundle or a blooming crate, you know? Like on this is also, if you come and chat for 10 minutes, you get a three 2,500 points. <coughs> <coughs> it will be five hours from now or so. Most of mine about it. That sounds quite interesting. I know, yeah, dude. We'd love to drop by, I'd say, man. What time do you normally stream on your side and stuff? I don't always check and stuff, bro. But what time's your normal time? Because sometimes, you know, with the time zones, uh, you know, I'm just asleep at the time. But yeah, if you stream normal, well, whatever time you want to stream, either way, I'll try and come in. Well, not even try and come in, I would love to come in, you know? Uh, let's have a look at Viking, though, says, Viking, got a question, when will you stream with the tor- uh, When will you stream torture stream? Um, oh, 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 okay, oh, okay, in five hours, right, okay, I've got you there, money, Viking, from five hours from now, it will be 11 o'clock. That sounds like a plan. All coming up at 12. It should be all good. Oh, damn. That sucks, though, says Money Viking. I'd always sleep in only six. Uh, 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 I, oh, I, I was always sleeping. Um, hey, you can buy a lot of the Money No cap. Hey, with 6,500, you know, you can buy yourself a good amount of stuff, you know? It'd be nice if that was real money. Oh, God, that'd be nice. Um, so I know it says, Woods announcer would be like, you, you're the goddamn onions now. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Take down them. I don't know. Take down them. Actually, no, I don't think that's, don't think that's an appropriate word, but you know what I mean. Take down them enemies. You're the onions. You know? <laughs> I don't know, because he has the voice on. His, apparently he's a goddamn onion. <laughs> but yeah, that would be cool though, son. That would be cool to see, man. Um... They've got to switch up ideas. They've got to. Like, if they keep carrying on with this same engine, it's going to be boring. Very boring, you know? Um, I feel like they've got to start carrying on more with zombies as well. Because, I mean, we haven't seen a proper zombies. Like, it, what it feels like anyway. Proper zombies in ages. It has been ages, you know? Apocalypse says, what happened to BF4 after the stream? There was something really cool I gotta show you. Ooh, might be able to apocalyptic. Might be able to, bro. I don't really know though, man. Um, I'll see. I don't know if I've got any things I've got to do later on after the stream. I've probably got to make a thumbnail. Might have to um go out and stuff or anything like that. But if I don't, if I've got any good free time, yeah, sure. Would love to join in, bro. That'd be awesome right there, man. That'd be a W for sure, I'd say. All right, let's try and get some more ammo because for some reason we can't get this uh, this thingy, which is kind of annoying. Is it around here? Wait, is it up above here and then... No, it's not there. Okay, okay. I'm listening. I'm following. Okay, right. I can't really see that real quick. Let's try and go up here. Oh, is it, up, is it above here? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's good. What do we get? Eh. All right, not too bad. Okay, nice. We just got that. All right, not really that many special things, not going to lie. I want to probably try and get some more ammo, I'd say. Let's try and get some more ammo. I need to get some more ammo, I'd say, man. Uh, bloody hell, where is ammo, dude? Bonus points. All right, okay. Okay, let's quickly just go over here. Just gonna get some armor from here and then we should be all good. Oh, okay, no, we've already got enough ammo. We've already got enough. We're all good, we're all good. We're chilling. Yeah, we're chilling. Um, one of those says, usually our stream, 6.30, um, ES, uh, 6 to 7 EST time, which is like 12 a.m. in the UK. Okay, that's all cool. That's all cool, I'd say, man. 12 a.m. is not bad at all. Um, normally go to sleep around either half 12 to like uh, half 1. You know, some t if I'm not streaming the day after, I'll, I'll probably be, I'll be up until like five in the morning. You know, I've, um, my plan, my plan is a failure. Damn, how come, Mr. Motivator? Um, so on this a season passes were evil. Imagine playing, imagine paying sixty bucks for the main game, only to have the rest of the content be forty bucks. I guess looking at it in that way, it 
it, it, it's not good. You know, I mean, I guess, yeah, if you put it to that, you know, you've already bought the game, which is £60. Sometimes it even, could even be up to £65 to £70. And then you have to cough up another £40 for the season pass, which could either go of two ways. It can either go really well with the things they bring in, or it can even go really terrible, you know? I don't know if they still bring in season passes. I think, Cyan. I, I think they do. They call them Vault Editions now. Uh, yeah, Vault Editions, where you... But it's... I wouldn't say it, they've changed it now. Like, obviously, every map that comes out now is all for free. But I guess to some people, it really does get other people to spend that extra £40, you know, 40 bucks to pay in. But yeah, they have these editions now. Vault Edition... Which I'm not really a big fan of, you know. But yeah, I could see where you're coming from there, and it's not good, you know. I mean, looking on the old cards, you know, you've bought the game fully, BO3, and then you can buy the season pass, which gives you all the DLC maps, which you could either go of two ways, really good or really bad in terms of what kind of maps they bring out, you know. Um, all the most ripped off an announcer would either be um, would either be the biggest BO2 zombies nostalgic trip or the most uh, <laughs> ironic announcer server. Ah, oh, dude, just imagine. Like, I don't know what kind of sus voice lines Rick Toffin would be saying, but I don't know. It'd be like I don't know. I don't know. You know, <laughs> like ah, Dunker. Got I can. Uh, that won't make any sense. Dunker's um. I don't know. But yeah, he would be saying some really sus things, you know, like, ah, oh, Spanksy zombies, or no, no. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it'd be cool to see, I don't know, a voice line bringing back from, you know, the the zombies, uh, all, like, all the most supremacist characters as voice lines and stuff. I liked the Cold War. Um, I think Cold War and BO4 parent voice, and I thought they were pretty cool. They were more like demonic, you know? And this guy is really on it in terms of doing the contracts. I genuinely respect that. That's actually really cool of him, man. This guy's actually focused up. He's playing the game. Um, honestly, I don't think we will see any of the classic zombies characters return because their voice actors would be too expensive in the Activision's in Activision's eyes. They don't respect voice acting. Man, I mean, it, again, if it, all, if it if it comes down to as well as like if Activision's gonna like if Activision will be wasting money, like I, don't know, I mean, they must be making so much money with the games they're bringing out now, with having their games, you know, with bundles, vault editions, uh, their games being uh, service games. I mean, they've been having service, open service games for a long time now, but you know, it, again, they're just I guess just being greedy in a way. Definitely being greedy, you know. Not good to see, man. Um, it, it's just one of them, really. It's just one of them. I don't know. I, I really do hope, though, new ne the next con is it, it, it's going to be, like, I don't know. I personally hope it's going to be good. I think it's going to be decent. I, I have some hope for it. Really, all I want is just to see some good maps. Just some... I don't want Outbreak-style maps or Forsaken maps. I, I want... It'd be sick to see some, like, survival maps. That would be cool. Oh, yeah, the zombie eye colours. Like, that would be cool to see as well, you know? Like, I don't know what these colours they have. Okay, no, it's, it's not... It doesn't even glow that much, you know? It's just kind of... It seems kind of modern, you know? But yeah, that would be cool to see, you know, like see them, I don't know, have green eyes, for instance, you know, and that that's a meaning of, you know, who else is controlling them, you know, or see them back to having yellow eyes, but, you know, much more brighter, and that says, you know, I don't know, I think yellow eyes, was it Samantha that was controlling them? Well, I don't know, I don't really know too much about the story, but yeah. Bring more information to each detail they bring in. You know, like, I feel like, uh, yeah. Oh my God. Timmy says there's 300,000 players by a total of 100, $1,000 worth of bundles. Activision will get $300 million. Dude, I mean, that, that that's the type of money they're getting or for their games, probably. Uh, it, it, it's, they get a lot of money, dude. 
they honestly get like a crap ton of money um which is just insane to be honest i mean if that is the case 300 million yeah three three i think yeah 300 million dollars is an insane amount of money i mean like i and if that i don't know if that's like going out to one person like if one person is just getting 300 i don't know how it works out but if like one person is just getting 300 million dollars that's criminal right there i don't think it'll be one person but even if that if that's even split up to a hundred thousand people still a lot of money that like they're still like whew, you know that's a crazy amount of money right there a million pounds is enough to a hundred thousand pounds is enough to change someone someone's life you know kind of jealous to hear about that that's kind of a lot of money man but it's more for value uh oh for the vault editions yeah for vault editions extra 40 pounds i think uh, yeah, it, it's £40 for the Vault Edition. I think, um... Actually, no, I don't think they did that. I was going to say, I think they did this thing, like, if you were to buy the game with the Vault Edition, it'll be 100 But if you were to buy the Vault Edition alone, it's a little bit more. I don't know if that's true, though. I don't think that's true. So, I know, it says, Activision has always been the most greedy gaming company out there. Even more than Ubisoft or EA. They don't even lower the prices for other old games only good thing is they do is keep old servers up yeah it, it's just crazy to see yeah can't, i mean you literally saying for their old games like it would be nice it would be amazing to see them you know drop the price for bo3 bo2 bo1 classic modern warfares cod ghosts infinite warfare bo4 all the way to half price you know or you know Drop it all the way down to, like, you know, a couple bucks or something. A couple pounds. That would be good to see, man. It's just crazy, though, how, they, how much money they're making, man. It's a lot of money. I mean, that's enough money to... I don't know. Not, <laughs> like, imagine if you got that much money. Like, you just would not even care about anything, you know? Like, pretty much not really care about anything at that point. If three hundred thousand, uh, if three hundred thousand buys the hundred dollar game, then it makes up to fifty. Uh, 50 is that fifty? I don't want to be wrong. Is that fifty million? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That's fifty million. Even fifty million, bro. I mean, that's a crazy amount of people, dude. I don't know how many people have bought bundles, but I mean, I guess you could probably have a good estimate estimate every time you play an online game there's probably about four uh two to three people in your team of like team deathmatch that have got a bundle you know and i think each bundle can range anywhere from five pound or onwards to 25 pound i think Fifty million, dude that's insane to me I mean, that, I don't even know. That's a lot of money. I don't know, like, again, it'd be awesome to... It's amazing that they still keep the servers for the old games up, including COD 1 to 2 to 3. Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, going back to the servers, yeah, it's good that they're doing that, to be honest. Although, it would be nice if they were to keep them safe and stuff that would be nice but i guess yeah that's good i mean if they were to shut like make you buy the game and then shut the servers down so where you can only play the campaign and whatever kind of side mode it is either zombies or survival that would just be cruel right there that would be kind of cruel you know what i mean but yeah i guess it is nice that they keep up the servers but i mean that's where um that's where all the people that make the clients version of the games come in place, you know, where people created Boy or people created uh, Plutonium or wasn't it called SM2 for all the Modern Warfare series games to be in one? You know, and that got, I think SM2 and Xlabs got taken down or had a cease and desist, which is stupid. 
games one and two um yeah, it's amazing though how they keep the games all the servers up for the older uh for the old games including cod one to two to three it's kind of it kind of shocks me because um with all the cod games out there it has to be it has to be has to be expensive oh yeah I mean, a game that's like what uh see i don't know how much cod four would be but i mean if that's being full price that game's from 2007 2007 game so 17 so yeah 17 year old game being full price for, uh, if that's being full price 16 pounds 60 pounds 60 bucks is shocking shocking right there activation activision could uh be making close to whoa one i don't want to say it wrong one billion i think with modern warfare 3 alone I, Jesus, I don't even know, dude. One billion now, that's like... That should be illegal. It's a game, dude. It's a video game, bro. That generally makes me kind of jealous right there. That's, that's crazy, man. I guess who... I mean, that's just too much money, though. I don't know, though. I mean, what is too much? But, I mean, that's that. That's an, an a, a, a unbelievable amount of money. That is an unthinkable amount of money, if you think about it. Like, a, an insane amount of pounds right there. Or dollars. If they are making up to that much money, how can they... How could they still be having bugs on their game... Again, it, it, it could be less than that, though. I don't know, though. I mean, would they have to pay taxes? If they do? Then, I don't know. Again, I, I don't know anything about this, but... If you guys are enjoying the stream, though, new to the channel, having a good time watching, be sure to hit that like and subscribe, guys. It would be much appreciated for the channel's growth. We are getting close up to uh, 1.3k. It would be great to see us get up to there, guys. Um, so, on this is what I meant with expensive is the cost that Activision have, uh, Activision have to pay to keep all those different servers up. Servers cost money. Oh, really? I, I generally didn't know that. I'm guessing with... I'm guessing with servers, like, for them to be open, they need to they need to put money in order to keep them servers running, potentially keeping them protected. Um, I guess, yeah. I mean, if... I guess, yeah. They could be putting in a lot of money in order to keep them games up. I mean, you're talking about, like... How many COD games are there now that has online? There's probably, like... There's probably up to, like, 17 COD games out there now, which is insane. I don't, know how, I don't know how much it would be in order to... I don't know how much money it would be to pay for, you know, one game for a server to be running up. But if it's like, I don't know, uh, 15000 a month, probably like having to spend with each individual game that has a line on it, um, probably like a good... Gonna guess like a hundred thousand or something a month. I don't know. I don't know how it would work out, but if that is the case, son, that is kind of crazy. I guess that's one respectable thing right there. You know, got to give him that. Oh no way! He's glitched out. Thank God. Take that, dude. Oh, bro. No, no, no. And people just spend money more than 1k on bundles as well. Oh, yeah, you do get that time of people that, <laughs> that for some reason spend a lot of money on bundles, which I don't get it, really. I don't get it. Like, I know you... Like, I know you probably want to have some cool guns and stuff, but 
I don't know. I've pers I've personally never bought. I probably bought one. I think it was two bundles. I think, and that was for Modern Warfare 2019. But I realised like I'm never going to use these. Like I just it it, it just it isn't going to come into being useful. Like I don't know. I don't know though. So we never see Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3 ever again since uh, this is the new way to be rich. Oh, definitely. I mean, if they find that they've found that they've found that bundles is the new is the new way to get rich and the best way to make money and stuff. Um, yeah, they definitely won't. They definitely won't turn back on to you know like. Uh, I guess, like, DLCs and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry that I didn't join back, AG. I actually got a uh, bad headache that uh, makes me uh, a bit dizzy. No, it's all cool. It's all cool, Shane. Hopefully, you do feel better as well, man. I'd say definitely get some rest, bro. Don't be sorry as well, bro. It's all cool, Strain. It's all cool. Oh, John, that says, I wonder if this will have the source code for the original games. Um, or if it's a situation where devs, company, like, Treyarch, keep the source codes. I'm guessing the source codes, like, I'm guessing the source code is, um, something to do with, like, the servers, like, going into the servers and stuff. Um, COD 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to Modern Warfare 3 to Modern Warfare, to Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, World at War, BO1, BO2, BO4, Advanced Warfare, Ghosts, Infinite Warfare, World War II, Vanguard, Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 2002 to 2 to 3, since those probably share servers. That's a lot, dude. That is a crazy amount right there. I mean, and again, if that's like, I don't know how much it would be, but if that's like 15,000 a month, Jesus Christ. That is 15,000, so I'm not really good with math here, but... So, how many card? Uh, okay, I'm just going to say... So, 15,000... Right, okay, right. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, 19. So, let's just guess. 15,000 is the monthly pay that they need to put in for each month on their, to keep their servers up. 15,000 times... 19, uh, 15,000, uh, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, so that's a whole, already 100,000, 105,000, 120,000, 135,000, 150,000, 165,000, I think, 100, Two hundred and eighty-five thousand. Two hundred and eighty-five thousand. If if that was to be. That would be a shit ton. That would be an, um, an a, a crazy amount. Like, what? Jesus Christ. That's a crazy amount right there, man. I've got Cold War. Oh, Cold War as well. You know, so... Cold War as well. <laughs> Blooming hell. 285,000. I don't know if they're doing it a month, but Jesus Christ. Fucking hell, man. Again, I... Jesus Christ, man. Marking contract. I guess fair play to them for... <laughs> for, uh, for putting in that much money to keep their servers. If that is the case, I'll have to look on Google after this game, guys. I think that'd be a good idea, looking up on Google. Google always gives the best information. $300,000! Jesus! 300,000 buckaroos! <coughs> Elo 
Gotta imagine making that much money a month or whatever. I don't know. Well, having like it's crazy how much money they probably do make as well though on the side. I make so much money. <laughs> I don't even know why we're talking about money now. Oh my god. Wait. Bing, 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 bing. Next, you know, they'll they'll add big booty, big booty bundles to appeal more people. Oh, dude, you know what? They probably would. They pr most certainly, dude. Probably want to get them curves in, you know, for them bundles. You know, get them nice curves. You know what I mean there? Perverted bundles. <laughs> Nah, seriously, no, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I, I just, oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, the headaches happen when I uh, try to control stress along with uh, other emotions, says Strange. And what makes it even worse is I'm told I stress myself out when I'm making everyone uh, streaming, uh, screaming at me uh, for... For others doing. Oh, okay. I mean, the best thing in that kind of situation, Strain, is just, um, just chilling out. Just kind of, like, looking at the situation and just thinking, you know, like, I don't know. There's no need to stress out about small things if it is about small things, you know what I mean? Um, you know? So I'm not just taking a bit of a deep breath. You know, open up the window can be good for you. Hell, even having a bit of food as well. Obviously not say like I know some people have a, have problems with eating a lot of food, but you know, if you're a if you're a bit of a slimmer person, you know, eating food isn't so much of an issue, but that can be good to relieve stress, you know. Playing Yeah, you know. Sometimes playing games as well, the, the calm games, you know. Like GTA five, riding car oh, Grand Theft Auto can chill you out. You just go away. I'll tell you one thing that stresses me out. These stupid dogs on this game. These dogs are probably the most... One of the most annoying things on this game. They're just... They're just... I would rather have them to be deleted. I'm not going to lie. They're just annoying. Activision knows how to play cards to be a billionaire. Oh. The big dream. The big one. You know? I guess they're just really successful, you know? I guess they're just really successful. I don't know, though. I mean, yeah, they're definitely really successful. I mean, look at how much money they're able to make and stuff, you know? Nice one. Not too bad so far. Let's go over to this one as well. Oh, yeah, dude, even close to a trillion there. So, like, I, I personally don't know how much money they are making, but I mean... I I would be surprised if it was trillions. I'm kind of surprised as well how much... Like, I mean, some point of me says I'm not really surprised because, I mean, how many people play their game? Like, it's a lot of people that play their game. I look like shit tons of people, dude, that play their game, you know? But... I don't know, dude. Oh god. Marking extraction zone. Marking extraction zone. Can I just get fifty million dollars from Activision and never work again? Oh no, that would be awesome, man. It would be nice to make some good money though. Like have a have a job that like gives you a good amount of money. It's just I guess it's just like working your way up there though, I don't know. I don't know. It would be nice, though. It would be nice. I guess everyone would like to have a lot of money. Don't know what kind of job, though, gives you a lot of money. I don't know. I guess having your own business would be a way to get your own, uh, like, a lot of money. 
Like, how would you start that business? What would you need to do to, you know, start up your business and stuff to, to carry your business on as well? Just whole loads of insecurities uh, where I am, uh, where I am. And I'm the only uh, mature one around. Ah, again, like, I, I, I can understand and stuff, man. Like, yeah, you know, the, the thing I'd say, Stren, is just trying to, like, whenever you feel like you're you're on the edge of just getting angry and stuff, kind of realize it and feel like, okay, right, I'm getting a bit angry here. And I know if I do get angry, I'm just going to get even more angry. So when you're in that kind of stage where you feel like you're getting annoyed, um control that you know control that and once you kind of calm down but and you know you realize you haven't you know like let out the anger um you would feel much better genuinely like it comes in a lot of things like you know sometimes if you're playing like one of the simplest things if you're playing a video game and you just keep dying and you're getting angry and you think okay right i'm getting angry i could probably just go off this game for a bit and just chill out that's much better than screaming at your screen you know, and being close and close to throwing your controller or something like that, to then just you know closing your game up. But like, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Controlling your anger is a good thing. It just makes you more. Uh, just makes you more. Makes you feel better. You know. You don't have that regret after <laughs> screaming at your TV or something like that. You know what I mean. I don't like working, man. I just buy my fancy. I just, uh, I just, I just buy my fancy Lamborghini, good, decent house, and have parties. Oh, dude, that would be nice. Trust me, Timmy. That would be awesome to have, dude. I would. I think all of it, like, I would love to have something like that, man. Um, yeah, I, I personally, I definitely don't want to work a standard job whole life. I just can't do that. I, just, I don't think I could do that. Like, I know a lot of people do that, but I, I just... Obviously, you know, like, in terms of work, I'm going to be working soon. Hopefully this week coming up. But I'd love to... I don't know. Just, I don't know. Have a job where you can make a good amount of money. I'd love to learn about um, investing and things like that. That would be nice. I don't know anything about it, though. But I would love to do it. <laughs> but I guess you need to learn to then... You know, kind of take that step, I guess, and buy some drinks, sunglasses, got a pull. Yeah, dude, you know? Have a nice GF for a girlfriend, you know, that'd be quite good. Guess that's the only thing, that's the only thing you'll need to get someone like that, you know? <laughs> oh, God. Now, you, you'll get up there, though, man. You'll get up there, bro. You just, you need a vision, I'd say. You need a vision for it, you know? I say that, but where am I at, you know what I mean? I guess best thing is taking advice from someone that actually knows. I don't know a single thing. I would love to learn. I would love to take one of them courses where they teach you, but they cost a bit of money. You know what they teach you on how to in like invest or uh, build a business or you know. Um, Fifty million. Uh, can. Uh, can last you 50 years if you spend 1 million a year. Yeah, literally. I mean, it, 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 it's it's a crazy amount of money. 50 million. Yeah, you're right there, dude. That, that Again, that's insane, you know? And if you had 50 million and you just wanted to live uh, a, a lavish but... A, like, a lavish but appropriate life to where you're spending up to 250,000 a year, still that's still a winner right there, man. You know? Oh, dude. Ah. I tend to... I don't know. Yeah, it's... it's. It would be nice to make a good amount of money. That would be nice. But I guess... I don't know. Like, um... <clears throat> let me just think. One of my... When I'm like old mates and stuff, I wouldn't say, yeah, I, I wouldn't say mate, but like someone that I knew that lived in my area and stuff, 
he um like he was always like focused on education and we always used to i didn't really make fun of him but like we always used to like neglect that like be like ah the fuck education that's so rubbish you know and um like he would always go to school in our school we had a a sixth form option so in our school we had a college option as well and he went to college option in our school he went to like he, he did all his education you know and like we always like kind of some of our mates would make fun of that anyway a couple days ago my mates showed me a picture of where he's at now dude he's he's, he's at a different country he's got one of them nice suits on that kind of annoyed me, man, because it just, it just kind of comes back to, like, dude, you should have, you know, should have learned a little bit more in school. So I guess if any of you guys are still at school, don't look at school as, I don't know. Like, with what you've got, just try and do as much with what you've got, to be honest. Being rich is best, man. I'm growing up real fast, poor person. Hey, you're not alone there, man. <laughs> not alone there, dude. Sometimes I feel like, as well, when you really want to try and get a job, no one wants to try and help you out like that's what it feels like to be honest at this situation so you're not alone there to <laughs> like definitely grateful definitely grateful for being here but i guess you could look at it as well like with what you've got i think i've seen this on a short with what you've got someone else wants so like in your situation if you're you've got a roof under your head a homeless person would dream to have that you know but at the same time everyone Everyone has their stages of what they want to get, you know. But yeah, I feel you there, man. Wow, yeah. Like, I mean, like he showed because it was on his um. I think it was on his Twitter. No, not Twitter. I think it was Twitter or X. Yeah, living a, such a lavish life. He's in. I don't know where he was at, but he was in some nice ass area. He's probably getting good with it, you know. And I think he's like 22. 22, dude. In noise. Kind of annoying. Depending on what agent you use, AG. Uh, some are free to sign up, uh, some are not. But if you uh, if you don't go to what they uh, sign you up for, they change you. What do you mean, strain by like uh, agents? Is it like I don't know, like job types and stuff? Like extremely poor. I'm I'm sorry to hear that as well to me, man. Like I I'm, de I'm definitely not like struggling. I'm relying on my parents, but I guess in your situation. Well, you could try look at that. You can try look at that situation, Timmy. As you know, like it's, it's a try and take it with steps. You know, like I would recommend, man, learning some learning some things. Uh, like I don't know, things in like business or things like that. Like, yeah, like for example, I've been learning a little bit in terms of. Uh, I don't know. I say I've been learning, but if I talk about it, it sounds a bit stupid but i've been on like, i don't know like different words for like business like capital i learned a little bit about that like kind of know about it a little bit you know things like that i don't know i eat two things a day so i'm trying to um so i'm trying to heron facts he's lucky as fuck yeah man, lucky people dude same i'm uh, relying on my parents as well but they are struggling that i might i mean i do hope you can find yourself a a job that is able to lean you. A job that is able to help you and crunch you, you know? Have you got over there, Timmy? Have you got over there um, at Universal Credit, man? I don't know if you guys have got that over there, but basically it's a... It's a... It's a system you can uh, sign up for. So, a system that you can sign up for so they help you find a job, but they give you benefits as well. I don't know if you guys have that over here, you know? I've been learning some um, earth science and fixing things to help my dad. Yeah, see, learning things like that is good, man, you know? You know, learning things that can potentially help you in the future. Like, think about it. Like, I, I guess for anyone, if anyone, if someone just didn't learn anything that would be keys to further on in life, you know, and then they reach their further on point in life. What are they, like, they're going to be clueless, you know? So you want to learn some things. I say that, but I really barely have, yeah, barely have any time to learn with the stream and stuff. But I mainly just have this as a hobby and, yeah, you know? But in your situation, that seem, seems a bit rough for you, man. But, you know, I'd say with each learning different things, you know, you've, you've got it, man. 
nah, uh, I've nah, I've never been there. Hmm. Okay. They might have it. I don't know though. They might have it. I'd say, um, Timmy. I already did Earth Science years ago, but I failed it. Um, they always do that crap where I don't know. Uh, GCSEs, or I, I don't know if you guys have GCSEs. Yeah, or you have to do tests, and if you don't get up to the uh, the appropriate score, then you can't you can't succeed, or you have to redo them again, which is just bullshit. Like some people, it's just genuinely hard to focus. Uh, to, to, for some people, it's hard for them to focus on something, you know. Chandler says, I was working, um, I was working, started getting my experience at 13 years old, and then after, got a, got a stock option, but my new, uh, uh, uh no, and built my way up. They are called work counsellors, and, and I had mine since 13. Yeah, work counsellors, I think it's that. Let me look on, uh, thingy right now, and let me have a look. Does, damn, it's not even getting dark, and it's half nine already. That's crazy. Uh, does the US... Have universal credit. Universal credit is an online learning platform managed by Upgrade, a financial technology company. This lender offers flexible loan amounts and affordable interest rates. Money sent directly to old creditors. If you get a universal credit debt cancellation, Consolidation, I mean, loan, consolidation loan, this lender can pay off your former creditors directly. I don't really understand too much about that, but yeah. I think I have it. Does America have uh, the uh, United States, the tax base, cash benefits, the, the earned income tax credit and child tax credit are limited to workers and are paid on an annual basis. Then individuals file their returns we do not have a tax based system that would allow for monthly payments oh okay to meet the basic needs of those who are not working okay so you guys don't have it you know it's a bit of a it's a bit of a missed opportunity there but hey man you know it's it's not the worst situation so I'm self-learning. That's good, man. Honestly, you're putting in your own time to me to self-learn. I honestly, I recommend to keep doing that. Don't give up on it, bro. Keep doing it. Have a schedule for it. You know? Yeah, that's true. Just, just keep learning, you know? Like, it sounds, again, like, keep learning. It sounds stupid, you know? Oh, learning, that's for, that's, that's rubbish. That's crap. But put that, push it on the side, you know? Like, f forget about, you know, our oh, learning's rubbish and stuff it's uh, if the more you learn and with the more you learn with things like that the better you know uh do you do drops i need skims um let me see do you want me to drop you some i can if you want to clayden i can try and drop you some i don't have schematics but i can try and drop you some items and stuff i don't really mind for that clayden you know in terms of dropping people like uh, crates that's what they call it crates i can i can drop you them if you want me to bro you know, but welcome to the stream as well, Clayden. How are you doing today, bro? Hopefully, you're having a great day over there, man. Yeah, we'll be doing a game in a minute, guys. Uh, in fact, yeah, while we're waiting, let, let, let's get another gun. Oh, no, I don't want to use that piece of crap. Uh, let me just do this. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, sure. I, I don't mind, I'd say, with that, Clayden. Don't really mind with that, man. Let me just... Uh, let me just go over here. Let me just try and get another gun. In fact, yeah, if you want to add me... If you want my, um, just subbed, hey, thank you that day. The man right there, subbing, do appreciate, Glenn, do appreciate it, bro. Should I add you, uh, or you add me? So, yeah, I'll be able to add you and just, let me just quickly change screens and get my, um, uh, my name info and I'll be able to send it through the chat on here. So, just give me two, one second, bro. Just give me one second. Be right back. Let me go into here. I think it's on social and then... There we go. Okay, so it's AG. Okay, right. Let me just do this. So AG. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh God. AG gaming. Oh, can I just copy this? Oh, okay. Nice. That's all good. That's all good. 
Can I just copy it, paste it like this? There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah. Right, if you guys want to have that, there you guys go. I don't know why I need to hide this. I don't think I need to hide it at all. But yeah. There you go, man. Oh, let me enable as well. Right there. Let me swap my screen real quick, dude. I normally do this because I'm whenever I'm playing solo, I don't want anyone to join me. But let me just quickly go onto account network. Um, friend requests open. Whispering open. Actually, no, probably have uh, closed. <laughs> uh, let me just do uh, group invites open. Channel invites open. Right, okay, that should be all good, yeah. Sembro, nice. Let me just quickly see real quick. Wants to be a friend, accept real quick there. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, um, let me just... Whatever whatever kind of stuff you want me to drop, I'll be more than happy to. I think I've got... Yeah, I've got Ether Blade. I've got Golden Armor. I've got Mag of Holding. I can drop all kind of things like that. Um, tell me this, that's, that's why I don't... Um, tell me this, is my parents want me to finish college to get a job which is stupid as fuck dude no honestly honestly timmy i would recommend doing college um i tried signing up for an apprenticeship all right for i think it was it was called content creation an apprenticeship for that it was for like marketing and stuff and they said like do you have your uh, your levels on maths and english and i said no i don't i just i dropped out or i think i did but it was they were crap there were crap levels. You know what they said? They said, you need to go into college. You need to go back to college. So, dude, go to college. You, you might hear on the internet all this crap about, oh, don't go to school, don't go to college. But if you don't go to them, you're not going to have any, like, you're not going to have any option to go to work and stuff. It, you're going to have to probably work at them shitty factories and, oh, God, the, the warehouses? No, you don't want to work over there, dude. They are shit. Crystals, tools, uh, I can uh, take some mags. Yeah, sure, I got you, man, I got you. I'll do I'll do this one if that's cool because I, I probably want to use that for myself later on. I'll probably just drop one of them as well. Yeah, I don't really mind. I don't really mind. I think a lot of a lot of people that come into the shim they always drop me a bunch of stuff as well. So I'm more than happy to. So I'll drop Mag of Holding. Backpack as well. Let me see. Have I got a backpack? Have I got a backpack? So I don't have a backpack at the moment, bro. But I think with having a small backpack, you normally have around six items. So that's one, two, three. Uh, I could probably try and drop... Uh, oh, wait there. Oh, okay, no. There we go. I thought I had something like that. Probably try and drop... Uh, crystals, tools. Okay, crystals and tools. All right, let me... So I don't even have a purple tool. If it's cool, I'll probably drop a green one. I, you know, later on. Let's see. How long have I been streaming for? I want to see. If I've been streaming for a longer, long time... Okay, 2 hours and 28 minutes. Right, that's all cool. We'll do this game, and then we'll probably call it a GG. So, yeah, I'll just drop that. Uh, just drop that, and then... Okay, drop that. Oh, I'll, probably, I'll probably use some of these, but... Yeah, you want to you wanna stick to college, though, man. I have missed so much on college shit. It pisses me off to think about it, really. It really does. Yeah, but knowing me, I will take me 40 years. Nah, nah, nah. You've got it to me, man. You've got it, bro. Honestly, don't don't give up as well, man. Don't give up. Just, just stay zoned in, you know? Most important thing, I guess, in your case is just getting up there, you know, trying to, trying to get up there for... for, for, for getting your grades and stuff. I know, like, playing video games is great, you know, it's a fun thing to do, but I don't want to sound like a parent, but yeah, best thing, just focusing on getting your grades done is the best thing. Generally, I am so pissed off with not going to college. I could have went there, but yeah. Because I, I looked at the internet, apparently the internet said, ah, oh, college is pointless. Call it college is pointless. You know, seeing them stupid videos about it, but That's fine. I'll be able to hold up to five. Yeah, yeah. That's all good, Clayton. That's all cool, man. Clayton, my bad. Not Clayton. Okay, right. Oh, shit. Is it actually still hidden? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Cheers for telling me that, bro. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. you got to be joking. That normally happens 
that happens sometimes anyway, you know. But yeah, glad to see you coming in, man. We like to do, um, well, nothing but zombies over here, I'd say, Clan, if you're into that. Classic zombies with Modern Warfare. No, yeah, classic zombies with World at War, BO1, BO2, with challenges, you know, fun things like that. We like to do fun things like that on the stream. We have a pretty, pretty cool community, you know. Yeah, it's paused, dude. That's happened like four times now. It's crazy, man. Hey, Jack Younger, though, coming to the stream as well, saying, yo, welcome to the stream as well, Jack Younger. Glad to see you coming to the stream as well, man. How are you doing today, bro? We're talking about Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, Jack. And yeah, we're just playing with people from the stream as well as randoms. We're having a good time. How are you doing today as well, Jack? Hope you're having a great day over there, man. Pleasure to see you coming by. Okay, right. Let me drop this. Let me drop this. Let me drop this. Let me drop this. I'll drop this for you, mate. Okay, right. And I'll probably just use these for the time being. I'm going to keep these. Hell yeah, dude. I got you, man. Yeah. Whoever does want to join in, I'll be more than happy to drop items for people. You know, things like that. I will say I don't have a bunch of items. Like, um, I've only got schematics. So, obviously, when you use a schematic once. Um, it, yeah, if you use a schematic once, you have to wait either a day or some shit like that. And it's kind of annoying. But I got my... Uh, I've got my friend in the stream too. Oh, yeah, do I appreciate it. Thank you for bringing more people into the stream. I'd say it's Clayton. It is genuinely appreciated, bro. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, like I said, we like to do a bunch of types of streams with classic zombies, with new zombies. You doing drops? Yeah, sure. If you want some drops, I'd say, Jack, more than welcome to, for you to join in, man. Um, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I don't know how many stuff I've got at the moment. I should have some good stuff. I think the stuff I've dropped, I don't know what I'll have next. I might have the Ether... Ether, Ether, Ether knife. I might have the Ether knife <laughs> left. I don't know if I've got any items available. I should do. I should do. I'll have to have a look after this game. Although I think after this game, we'll probably be calling it a GG's for the stream. We've been streaming up to two hours and 30 minutes. That should be too bad. Shit. So we actually just took our things. Okay. Okay. Now it's right around there. That's all cool. That's all cool. Um, 255 for the stream. <laughs> oh, dude. Doing a 255 for the stream would be insane, man. That'd be crazy right there. Is this Nacta? Dude, how did you know, Josh? This is Nacta and Totem, man. We are literally playing Nacta and Totem in this stream, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. They they renovated the Nacta building. Um, they changed a couple things. You know, it looks modern, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Josh, it, it's not. This is this is classic Nacta and Totem gameplay. It's just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. <laughs> I'm going to go exfil. Yeah, no problem as well, Clem. No problem, man. Okay, right. Let's just do this. Yeah, we'll probably do this, do this last game, and then we'll probably call it a GG's. I think next stream, we might be doing some... I don't know, man. We might be doing some BO1, BO2. I'm having some BO1 kind of vibes for the next stream. I don't know why, you know. I think the last BO1 stream we did, we did... Uh, what was it? What did we do for the last BO1 stream? I have no blooming clue. I think it was around 50, I think. On Der East. No, it wasn't that. Bloody hell, that was ages ago. I think it was um, Shangri-La. Yes, yes, it was Shang. No, it was back of punching all guns on five. That was it. So we might try and either do a high round, guys. If not, do a challenge on BO1 or BO2. AG, I decided to hop on the Switch. Swatch, he says. And play the Game Boy Advanced Simulator. Uh, simulator. No, emulator. They put on it. Oh, that's pretty cool stream. What kind of things can you do on the emulator? In fact, what is an emulator on its own? I've heard of what an emulator is, but I don't really know too much about it, if I'm going to be honest. Is an emulator like a... Uh, an, like a, an, an experience of what you play or anything like that, man? I've heard of a simulator. Uh, a simulator's like a simulation of what you play which is kind of cool can i get a drop before you finish uh if not it's okay yeah so i think with this one i'd say jack if it is all cool we'll probably call it a ggs after this one mate but our next modern warfare stream shouldn't be too far bro we like to do modern warfare streams every every once a week or so we, we try and have a good fitted schedule for each zombies game we play you know so yeah, Modern Warfare 3, it's probably once probably once once a week, if we're lucky, probably once every, I don't know, but I mean three to four days, you know. And I think as well, if I'm gonna be honest, I think I've already used up all my items. 
So, yeah. All, like, the ether crystals and stuff. I think they're all just, um, they've all been used. As well as the upgrading tools. Get down. Oh, my God. Jesus, this guy's running after us. Shit. There we go. Get back. Shadowrack. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying the stream, new to the channel as well, feel free to hit the like and subscribe, guys. It would be much appreciated. We are on the grind for 2K, guys. It would be awesome to see us get up to there. You know, we're getting closer. You know what I mean? We're taking steps. We've got an awesome community out here. Um, you know, zombies ain't dead. Trust me, zombies is not dead, guys. It is thriving with energy. you got all types of people playing it, like myself. And yeah. Oh my god, I thought we was actually going to down, go down then. Woo, jeez. Shino says, they play OG games from the OG consoles. Oh, okay, I understand. So I guess it's uh, an, an emulator is where you can, they actually, they actually play like classic games. Original games, which is kind of cool, man. I vibe with that, dude. That's kind of interesting. Oh, screw the Disciple, dude. Honestly, the Disciple is like the worst boss, man. Golf War stream when... Oh, man, I'm telling you, Josh. When Golf War drops, we're going to have a fun. We're, we are going to have a fun. We're going to have fun here, man. You know, even though it's not as like, dudes, it's going to be fun. Now, trust me. Trust me on that, Josh. It's going to be a good time, man. <laughs> I, I just wonder what the, what the map's going to be like, you know? Hopefully, they're not too bad. Even if they're bad, we're still going to have a good time. I don't know, though, guys. What would you guys say your worst kind of, um, your worst zombies boss is? Like, you know that one zombie boss you guys just think, oh, I fucking hate, you know? Like, what, what would you guys say your boss is in terms of that? My opinion, I would probably have to say the Disciple, dude. I think the Disciple has to be my most disliked, dislikable boss. I, I think that boss, it, it's a good boss, but at the same time, it's just way too overpowering. It's like the Panzer on BO3 Origins. He's just... He, it doesn't make any sense to add him in. Shane, though, says, like, for example, the Wii U can play DS games. Oh, okay. So it can play other games from other consoles. I understand now. That makes much more sense, bro. See, that's actually pretty cool, to be fair. That's actually not too bad. I could actually start being pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, I don't really know what kind of games you could play on the Wii. But, I mean, from the DS to the Wii. But, hey, dude, I could see some pretty bangers, pretty banger games out there, you know? Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, we want to be careful, man. This guy does not take a... Whoa, I'm out of here, 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 I'm out of here. Jesus bloody Christ. Mmm. Jesus. Oh, fuck off. Not a disciple. Not a disciple. No, 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 no. Burn. Get out of it. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, right. We're going to have to quickly get back up and go because I hate this disciple, dude. This disciple actually sucks. Disciple actually sucks. Um, thank you so much. For hey, no problem, Kane. Honestly, all happy to help people that are coming in. You know, if they need anything, I got you, guys. I got you. No problem, man. No problem. Yeah, I think our next stream on Modern Warfare shouldn't shouldn't be too long. Oh, you know what? I'm getting out of it. I'm getting out of it. You know what we need? We probably need to try and get a... Uh, yeah, we need to get more shields, more plates, dude. This just ain't working out for us. Right, is that Disciple Asswipe still over there? He is. He is. Oh, my God. Okay, what we could try and do, actually, is we could just go over here, bring him over here. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Yep. 
Okay, let me just get that real quick. Oh, let me just get some more plates as well, because I just have a feeling. Yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Gold bar? Trash. Oh, fuck off. Even though the OG will come out, OG about to give me the thunder gun schematic. <laughs> oh, dude, imagine a thunder gun schematic. That would be insane, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Run him over. Run this guy over. Kill him. Yes. Take this guy out, man. Screw this dude. Screw him. Oh, my God. Right. I don't... Hey, there we go. Right. We're a part of the team now. There we go. And that's it. That's how easy it is, man. Oof. But some odd reason, people um, people hated the Wii U, uh, which I don't understand because, I mean, you could play all types of games uh, dated back to the first Nintendo console. So, yeah, it doesn't really make much sense, to be honest. I mean, it, it, that comes to other things as well. I don't know. Like, that normally happens at times if it's a game, a console, you know, whatever, you know. Even though the console had, like, from what it sounds, it had so many opportunities, like, it had so many cool things that they brought in. Still not liked, you know? It's kind of crazy, man. Right, let me just get more to strike and then... Oh, shit. I got you. Nice one. Come on. We're killing them. There we go. Oh, bloody hell. They're still... Okay, right, let's get out of it. Let's get out of it. Oh, this thing shreds them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't. Oh, I've got you, buddy. Oh, okay, yeah, he's got the ray gun. Come on, I got you, mate, I got you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Bonus points. Bonus points. Pack a punch. Nice, let's get some pack up in there. Crazy how it's still not even getting dark, man. I would have thought it would have gotten dark. I kind of like it, though, when it doesn't get as dark. I guess the summer's coming in. That's not too bad. Generally happy with that, though. I like it. Oh, let's get some more ammo, actually, for this thing. The flamethrower literally shreds, dude. Alright, probably don't want to be too stupid and just run into this guy's attacks. Let's be a bit sneaky here. Oh, can you just... Go away. Oh. Go away, go away. Mm, he's coming over it. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Jeez Louise, that was way too close. You know what we need to get? We need to get something from the Wonder Fizz. The Wonder Fizz. The Zivandafiz. Oh, go, go away. Go away, dogs. Oh, my God. These guys just... of hanging on the end. Oh, this thing's not going to kill. Oh, go away. Take that. Take that. Right, we're just going to buy everything from the store now. Everything. Bam, 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 bam. Give us everything. 
yeah, hopefully all you guys are enjoying the stream, though. Having a good time. Um, if you guys haven't already, honestly, we do stream on kick. If you guys are interested into that, we love streaming on kick as well. Um, you know, trying to build up a bit of a community in there. If you guys haven't, I recommend checking it out. You know, it's a you know, join the kick side of Car Zombies. I recommend it. It's actually pretty cool, man. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's go in the portal. Yo, I'm definitely... Right, can this dog piss off? <clears throat> Dude, how many dogs are behind us? That's crazy. Oh, no, we're coming. I'm coming, mate. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you up, guys, because this is kind of tough here. Oh, no, not a fucking disciple. It's impossible. Oh my god. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Okay. Jesus Christ. Come on, you got it, man. You got it. <laughs> oh my god, man. That was way too close. Way, way too close. Right. Okay, I think these guys want to go in here, so let's just quickly enter over here. Hell yeah, let's get in, guys. Right. We're going in the portal. We're finally going in the portal. Oh, it's off. Thundergun would came in handy. Dude, the Thundergun would have actually came in handy there, Josh. Oh, you know, imagine if, if they would have brought in the Thundergun, that would have been so cool. Just imagine it. Like, some people would have put up, some people would have probably thought it would have been a bit too OP to have the Thundergun, but at the same time, like, oh, bro, it'd be so sick. It would be awesome. I think I have all the Wonder Weapons. Thundergun would be, for sure, a helpful gun on this game, particularly, because the zombies run way too fast. Like, I know there's I know there's a thing called skill, but they're way too fast. I know it's... Yeah. That's all I can say. They're, they're just way too fast at times. Like, you see the dogs? They, you can't even run. Right, okay, let's go. Let's roll. Okay, let's have a look. Right, so I think it's around here if I'm correct. So we need to go over here. Nice, you're going into the, uh, the dark ether. Dude. If we're talking about dark ether, man, um, you know, the new dark ether transit map that should be dropping soon. I'm not going to lie, Dark Ether Transit looks a million times better than this Dark Ether. So much better, dude. Go away. Get out of it. Alright, okay. You're dead. Dude, you had zombies all Oh, okay, no. Punch him in the face. Right, okay, let's roll. Oh, we're coming, mate, we're coming. Oh, no, he timed out. Damn, dude, stones just timed out, man. Random player. Okay, well, it's either this, me or this guy, or just me alone. Reloading. Right. Don't know what that guy's... Is he moving? I don't think so. Oh, 
Oh, no, the other guy left. Okay. Well, it's just me, the mercenaries, and these zombies. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, wait, we're going to get a... <coughs> we're going to get a minute coming in soon. A mimic. Dude, what the fuck? They're throwing meat at us. And they're trash at throwing. All right, we're going to have to stop in a minute, and we're going to get a mimic. Oh, here we go, here we go. Right. <coughs> okay, right, come on. Let's have a quick look. Full armor. Where's this Mimic? I need to try and get him. Whereabouts would he be? Uh, is he around here? I'm pretty sure he spawned around here if I'm correct. Ah, oh, no, we need to... Oh, shit. He takes all our armor away. No! Oh, shit. This guy's real strong, dude. Go away! No, no! No! I think I'm screwed it. Right, where's this son of a gun? Go away. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Yeah, he is just not saying no, dude. Yep, yeah, let me go over it. So many zombies. Oh my god. I don't think we're going to make it here. Oh, he, he is. He is. He is dying. He is dying. No, he's running away now. He's running away. Go away. Go away. Oh, wait. Is this health regenerating? It is. Bro. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to give up. That was kind of dumb. Bruh. That was dumb as hell. I'm not even going <laughs> to That was kind of dumb, man. Damn it, dude. Well, fair play. Fair play. Damn it, man. Hey, Kenny of those says, yo, AG, do you use UGX mods for World at War maps? If so, do you install the EXE files for the new maps? Just wanted to know, just wanted to do it myself. I'm uh, uh, and I'm paranoid. Oh, okay, yeah, so if I'm correct with UGX, um, let me just think. So with UGX, there's two ways you can download modded maps. You can use UGX, uh, Kenny, or you can use the ZWR uh, website in order to find maps. I'll get it to you right now, bro. But I know where you get... I don't know if you're paranoid due to the site. Like, I don't know if you're downloading potentially, I don't know, uh, dangerous stuff or something like that. But um, let me just think. You, I think the site is safe. The site is safe to use. Um, there should not be any 
type of in like any type of dangerous link to download that's what i'm trying to say but if you don't want to use ugx i recommend using zwr let me just get that up right now for you bro hopefully i can get the link up if i can that would be amazing yes i can the youtube thing isn't messed up right so download link zwr all right see so yeah, if you want to use this uh, this is what i use kenny can i send it on the chat over here and for the exe yes you have to get the exe in fact let me go on to my files right now and load it up and have a look um let me have a look real quick bro so I go on to, if I'm correct, I would go on to, wait there, let me see. Thanks dude, no problem, no problem, I got you bro. I just get the Windows warning when I try to inst re uh, install the map. Yeah, it will give that, it would say, um, uh, like, what is it? This download may be unsafe, are you sure you want to download it? And then it'll probably give you the sign of Windows, uh, like, security, and obviously you can allow the download, or allow access, and it, like, it should be safe. Let me have a look at my video, because I do have a video that I recently did uh, make. Well, not recently, but it was a bit ago. And, um, yeah, it, it would show if it's the EXE. I think it is the EXE, though. Let me see. Um, so once I download it. So, yeah. Okay, so if you want any more information as well, this should help out too, bro. This should help out. If you need a video, mine might not be the most helpful one, but it will give some information about it. It's about a five-minute video, bro. And um, yeah, I'll just give some information about it, like how to download it, um, what like what steps to do. You're you probably already you're probably already on the step of downloading it. Disk C, okay. Let me have a look. Uh, disk C. I think it's... No way. It's program... Uh, percentage local app data. Ah, you got a tutorial on ice? Yeah, that should help out as well, man. I'm just trying the best I can to help out to see what I can do. So, it'll be local app data percentage... Yeah, I remember starting off on this. I thought it was really, uh, like, sketchy downloading these things. Because, I mean, you'll get, like, a message. Like, you know, what is it? Like, uh, Windows Defender has popped up. And, like, you know. Have you, like... Are you sure you want to download this? This might uh, ruin your PC. Or, you know, your PC might get all screwed over and stuff. But, mo like, not most of the time. All of the time I've downloaded these maps. Um, they've just been safe. They've been safe. I don't know much about UGX though. I just I just get it from ZWR. Let me have a look. I think it's plutonium, right? Yeah, plutonium, right? And then it's um storage? Yeah, T4 and then mods. And so Oh, okay. Huh. Hmm. Not sure that tutorial link works. Oh, really? It doesn't work? You're kidding me. Uh, let me see how I can help out. Hmm. I don't know why it does this, but for some reason... Wait there. God, I, I genuinely do dislike the new, uh, the new um, menu system that YouTube has put up. It's terrible, in my opinion. I can't... Oh, God, this is ass. This is ass. terrible i don't know if you guys have the same thing let me aha that might work out. Oh my god, yeah, that's terrible. That should work out. 
Aha, there we go, there we go. Found the video though. Ah, oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> appreciate how are you? But yeah, if the video does help out, that's good. If it doesn't, um, I would probably recommend it. I, I could get, I could get you another video. It's so sketchy downloading Modern Warcraft. Oh, tell me about it, Josh. It generally is kind of sketchy. I mean, like, because you go on, what, at G UGX or ZWR, you download it, and then it gives you that, what is it, file, uh, window, file, uh, Windows Firewall Defender pop-up. And then you have to take, make the decision of thinking, okay, this is safe, surely, right? This is surely safe. And then you do the, you accept it. And luckily it is safe, but it's just taken that one step of, you know, um, it is safe. The one, it is safe. It is safe. It. it I don't want to say I'm, sh I'm like I think it's safe. It has to be safe. It has to be. If either someone else has had an issue with it, then everyone else haven't ha has have has had an issue with it as well. You know. Okay. Hmm, right. Okay, guys. So, I think we're going to call it a GG's, guys. Going to call it a GG's. It's been a fun stream. Um, I don't really know what to do for tomorrow's stream. It would be really nice to probably do some... Let's see. Have we done... We done BO2, yes. We done BO2 two days ago. Um, we done BO3 two days ago. BO2 three days ago, I mean. Skur Ritual... F four... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling a bit of a challenge. Eh, I don't know. Should we do a challenge? Should we do a challenge? Should we do a challenge? I don't know. We could try and do a challenge, I think, tomorrow. BO2 challenge, which should be quite fun. Probably feeling some nuke town. Eh, I don't know. Nuke town. It'd be cool too. I want to try and do a high round, but we already done a high round last stream. I guess a high round mixed with a challenge, so. Hmm. Um. Yeah, let's do a BO2. Yeah, let's do a BO2 challenge tomorrow. Let's do one tomorrow. Um. All right, so I think we're going to call it a GG's, guys. It's been a good stream. Um, hopefully, everyone did enjoy it, had a good time watching. Thank you as well, guys, for 18 likes. Do appreciate it from everyone that came in and stuff. Only two away from 20. But, um, yeah, tomorrow we might be doing a BO2 challenge. If not, a BO2 high round. We'll have a look, guys. But thank you all for coming in. We are going to be ending the stream. Hopefully, all of you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, the video link did help you out as well, Kenny. If it didn't, um, you know, feel free to mention, and I'll see if I can help out with whatever I had to say, man. I'll see if I can help out, bro. See you later. You have a good night. Hey, have an amazing night over there. Joshy, thank you for coming by. Kenny as well. Have a blessed one over there, brother. Uh, guys, have a great one over there. Thank you all for coming in, guys. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Have a great day over there.